Loop Bet. Made for live betting. Bam! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a day of Dota. It's a hot day, but we're ready to get underway here with the Loot Bet Dota Season 1 games. We've got a one series today for you. Best of three between Hippo Maniacs and Team Ad Finn. And there's a classic name for you. I'm Killer Pish, and of course, joining me in the make believe seat next to me is actually far, far away in a special land called Bosnia, surrounded by landmines. He's got four, all his own. Is the one. Is the can you stop ripping off Bosnia, please? Dude, you've got, you've got like, you've got protection. No one's gonna come at you, dude. We so. don't have mines, you idiot. Uh, All right, like not that you've got documented. Well, yeah, <laughs> there are some, but it's it's mostly safe. And also, you don't want me sitting next to you because I'm pretty much naked right now. I just got out of the showers. You assume Probably. that I like on a hot day like this. You assume that I've got that many clothes on. I don't think anyone has many clothes on. Everyone's just sitting at home right now, popcorn in hand. Naked. Yeah. Five like Korean. Dude, they've got like they've got like, a little bit of shrubbery covering areas, a bit like a naked axe sort of thing going on, but Phoenix we got it gonna off, make dude. this Phoenix is gonna make this game uh, hot no matter what oh, happens. Yeah. And you know what as well? You know what, Pigeon? Tell me. You know what? Let me see the Ask me. Ask me. Do say, you say please like this filthy Combo. Not the not the stupid little gnome and the stupid ball. I don't care about the combos, man. That's not the point. I don't care about the draft. I don't care about dotes. I don't care about combos. About the weather. You care about that, bud. The only, the only thing I care about is we have we have team Czech Republic versus team Greece playing. Dude. Oof. 
Uh, we actually have two countries playing today. It's it's our little mini WESG. It's not. It has nothing to do with 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 dots anymore. This is pride. You need to make your country like proud. You need to make your people happy. This is this is pretty much. They aren't playing only for 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 the tournament and for this. I don't know some cash or whatever. They're playing for 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 the for the honor of the whole nation. I even heard that Hippomaniacs, like the the president of Czech Republic, is going to be streaming this Great game, like in the middle of their main city, in the middle of uh, Praha, with a uh, with a military parade. Right, they're marching through, they're celebrating. Oh. Yes, they're, and they told them that they must pick axe. Like they actually told them, if you don't pick axe, I'm taking your passports away. Yeah, and you're missing guys. a detail here, okay? Everyone, like, this is this is not a race of the best Dota. This is an endurance game right here, Liz, because we're in the middle of a ridiculous heat stroke of phobia seconds, here in the summer. And all this, all you got to ask yourself, right, is is Greece's, Five seconds. shall we they say, endurance against the heat? Is that going to give them the advantage here, or is the aircon going to kick out and the power's just going to go and hippomaniacs just win because they live in mountains? No, dude, like, at Finham, they don't care about this weather. Like they they've had it worse. They're Greek for God's sake. Like they're all right with this. So you reckon they're hippomaniacs? Because they, they're 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 like like the Czech Republic. It's kind of like a more inclined, right? They're in mountains. They don't even up. know where they're it is. They're close to the sun, dude. They're close to the you sun. You have no clue where I Czech know where Republic it is. is. It's it's on more elevated ground than Greece, dude. Greece you're, is Greece is the beach. You're just as bad as NA geography. I can bet my life on it dude, right what? now. Like you have no idea where it is. If I, I gave you a map, if I gave you a map right now and I said, Pigeon, show me where Czech Republic is, you would have no clue. You'd probably show Bosnia or something. Dude, I know, I think I know the world better than you, okay? You know, I've, uh -huh. I've explored, I've actually been approved to be in America, so I've been that far. <laughs> well, I tried going, but <laughs> Five seconds apparently it's going to be much more difficult than, than it seems. Uh, in any case, X... On Saberlight, that guy is just insane. He 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 carries Hippomaniacs when he gets that axe. You'll see, it's a treat to watch him. Sani plays this Phoenix quite a lot as well. And then they have Muff muffing around on his little tree and protector. Uh, Adfinim opening up with a draft that is not particularly something special for them. But it's something special nonetheless. Because you have the Wisp Gyro combination. You have that relocate. And you have Bane to set it up. And you have Bane to be playing that... Um, to be playing that full position of five and i usually li really like being plus wisp gyro or plus wisp anything because you can always sleep someone grip him then you have the wisp and gyro to reload in and that target is most certainly rest in pepperoni so yeah so far i like drafts from both of these teams i think hippomaniac's draft is a bit more uh player suited a little bit more of comfort and also uh, also quite good in the meta while team at Finham, they're just doing the you know, the good old school Wisp Gyro. Uh, yeah, there's like, oh Io Gyro got free, I guess we'll just pick it straight away, but of course, this combo I don't, I don't know about you, Liz, I feel like it's not as strong as it used to be, right, and we've seen that it's not the game winning combo like it was two a year or two ago, right, like it, it's more a hit and miss in the most recent months, like a 50-50 kind of chance which is funny, because on Hippomaniac's side, you could literally say the same thing about Sableye and Axe. This man either pops off like crazy, which you mentioned, or he becomes the most underwhelming factor of the game. Like, he, he's one of those kind of star players where if you give him a really great start, he will just deliver the game for you, right? Ten yeah. Seconds. Usually, well, lately, what we've, the games that we've watched, at least he, he delivers. But yeah, you're right. We've seen him. We've seen him in some abysmal games as well. If he gets shut down, suddenly he's just... Uh, a little bit useless, just a little just bit, a tiny bit. <laughs> it happens to it happens to anyone. It happens. I mean, and I haven't seen him since the change to stouts. Really? You can only have one now, right? So no double stout really? axe anymore. Maybe a little bit more pressure comes out on him here. Mm -hmm. But Lena picked up. Yeah, further uh, into the draw. Yeah. This yeah, I mean, you don't have the last pick there, so you just pick up your Lena, a hero that doesn't care about anyone on that mid lane. Pretty good here, also a hero that that deals well with the Phoenix's egg. A typos, they picked this Phoenix so early on that they're quite you, used to me. having a true counter. That deck. Also, hippos, they pick a lot of Huskars, so having that Lena with pure damage um, is is definitely decent versus that big boy as well. 
I mean, Lina just feels a lot stronger at the moment. Like, they recently gave us some buffs, right, to the attack speed, I believe it was, was the big one, which was pretty definitive in the early levels, the early stages. And there seems to have been a shift towards this kind of cast range build, Ten right? Seconds, Where you go into, like, your Aether Lens and your Yules, and you can just snipe people out from afar. Five mm. seconds. So in that regard, Advenom do have an interesting amount of single target focus catch, right? But Hippomaniacs definitely have the more visceral initiation with the Phoenix, with the Treant, with the Axe. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like Advenom are going to be just looking to just make pickoffs across the map, whereas Hippomaniacs are going to be looking to force like a 5 on 5 fight every time? Uh, I think it can go both ways. Like both of these teams have different ways and approaches to playing this game. Uh, most likely Advenom, as you said, Wisp and Gyro just farm, Bane and Lina trying to set things up across the map. That's it. Uh, and Hippomaniacs, as soon as they get their sixes, they're going to be looking at the, those uh, big rotations. But if they get caught in, in those rotations a bit too much, Wisp and Gyro are going to outfarm them. So these guys also have to make some pickoffs. And to make that happen, they need a mid that can work with Axe. Right now, Axe can make a call, but that's about it. There is no true follow up unless they're fighting as five, you know? So. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, sniper band out. All right. Okay. It seems to be pretty effective against lean on the lane, right? With the new headshot build. Also, hero that's played with uh, with Raid King quite a lot recently. Uh, and let's see. Puck picked up. All right. This is going to be our off lane puck, I guess. Most likely. Yeah. You, I, I mean, you have a little flex. Like, we don't see it that often, but Lena plus Bane on a lane isn't. Terrible per se, because it's easy set up right, but most likely you're gonna have Puck off lane. Nah, Lena plus Bane would be Five destroyed by a tree end. The only good thing that they have is this Wisp Gyro, so they can go and cut down some trees instantly. And then you can have. Oh, we'll see how. That's a long set. We'll see how, we'll see how they're lane. Most, I, I'm thinking like, are they gonna lane Phoenix off lane with Axe, or are they gonna put tree with Axe? Uh, usually, what happens is they they try lane and they leave uh, little boy Saberlight to just creep skip. The problem for him is in this game he's playing versus Bane, so he can't really creep skip. Like, he's just gonna be slept, and the creeps are gonna go away, and then he's gonna be a sad boy, dreaming about all the creeps that he could have taken. So. Um, you know, I, I, I have a feeling I have a feeling that uh, they're gonna have to duel in on that off lane end. All right, yeah, something that they pick quite uh, often as well. Supreme, he's a boy, man. He's like 18 years old. Where were you when you were 18? What did you do in life? Tell me. Ah, uh, he's he's playing on a professional team. He actually just came back from China. If he even came, I can't back. handle I this know. pressure. Okay, I wasn't. I was learning stuff in school, Liz. Yeah, shame on you for having education. Yeah, shame on me for get, trying to get like a stable degree so that when something goes wrong, I've got a backup plan. I can work at yeah, McDonald's and wear my degree as a paper hat. Exactly. Why aren't you manly? You should be manly. Just go all out. That's what like I'm doing, at least. Just go all out, man. Yeah, exactly. Like this act. Oh my God, I love this set so much. <laughs> and the way he keeps his arms up like, mm, baby, yeah. But like, the real question is, do you want the leaf or do you want the pants that say axe right because they're both decent they both have their benefits i, I don't know i like the leaves the leaves are very uh sensual you know it's if you like touch with the leaves turn it sideways there's this weird kind of flat planar thing why yeah. does the stream say dragon drop and lizard dose? because they haven't updated it all right chat this isn't on us it's on them we don't have good i don't have access to the panel they need to update this shit all right we're here. We're ready to do <laughs> our job. We chat turned is... up on time. The team's turned <laughs> up on time. Shut up, man. Let me read the chat. <laughs> Color eyes, kids. Killer at Killer Pigeon. Please lower the graphics a bit more. I can still make out some details of your <laughs> textures. <laughs> is your is your PC that bad? What's I happening? mean, so uh, this is one thing that skipped by. For some reason, like my daughter needed to reinstall itself, and when it reinstalled itself, it reset all my settings. So up them up them a bit. Yeah. Right? Oh, no, no, no. Because one of the casters opened this before and he got in trouble when, when he done this. Yeah, like, what, what's so, this, dude? What? Just like open it. Dude, best looking. Like if they best. take away your money for, for today, I'll give it to your, my share. Dude, why is this gyro? It. Look, the gyro's now glowing for me. What's happened to the gyro? Just, just, just let people have a normal quality uh, of stream, please. Everything. I done it and now everything looks weird. There's a glowing gyro, and, and for some reason, the 
glyph and fortification scan icons and now there's two of them really squished together. Like yeah, super squished. Th Le when's the last time you played those? That's the new I patch. You, I, you, no, you I haven't seen them pleb. squish like that. They look different. They look very different. That's a new patch, you pleb. You pleboid. Okay. It let's, looks, let's play. It's better now. It's better now. It's better now. Yeah. Maybe next time in Tug, they're uh, clearing trees on the bottom lane so Muff cannot hide around this bot lane. That's pretty good. That makes the lane much, much harder for the tree, especially when he already started with nature's guys. Dude, everything... that's, that's really good. My graphics are wrong now. Everything is glowing. Okay, we're going with it. I mean, what's wrong if it's glowing? Everything's I like, like everything. white glow to it. It's, it's like really weird. So, uh, Dude, I wish I wish everything on me was glowing as well. That would be so hype. Dude, that'd be way too uh, Greek Spartan right there. And then you'd be biased towards Adfinim. Which you already are, but it'd be more Battle obvious. Begins. Oh, cool. Nice. Coming out, but no, Spartan actually got the rune there. Ray's taking a lot of damage. Ray King needs to retreat from this. He thought he could man fight him. Well, that's happening. Oh the my lane, god, they're gonna what? Go to and the bot lane, they're going to get on the curry as well. Add Finn, was, they strike hard. Spartan's going to go down for this, but Muff, he's not the trade he wanted. He didn't want to have to give up his Rave King like this. He might give up his own life at this rate. He needs to get invis with the nature's guys. One more click coming out. Fog needs it, but the race fire blast is there. He's going to even go on. No, nah, he won't go on Puck. But dude, um, Phoenix died in such a bad way. I actually didn't think he was going to die there too. That, that's, what, that's what's the craziest, because... Uh, it looked like he'd be fine. He had dive and everything, and then just he dives over them, but they just uh, somehow kill him. I, I don't even know. That was pretty, uh, pretty insane. Uh, so Sen yeah, Sandy feeds the first blood up top, but Saberlight he gets some bounties and he goes to creep skip. So it, it looks like this is going to be one of those uh, free games for Saberlight. And man, this guy just carries. He carries when you give him a free game. So. Well, he's going to have to after the little bloodbath happening elsewhere in the map. The problem is, like, Muff, he did start with the Orb of Venom, but this means you have practically no armor, no protection against the right clicks of two ranged heroes, as he's witnessing right now. Fog almost got the kill there. Hmm. Uh, run, Muff. Run, little boy. Curry's actually only got three Dangos left as well. This is working out really well for Advenom in the early levels here. No, I mean, it's Bane and Puck there. Just keep on harassing them. There are no trees around for that... Uh to come up close and um, like this uh, Raid King definitely isn't going to have a good game but then again Lina on mid lane uh, let's say she, she's a little bit behind of the TA but it's doing all right she's she was living all right. life in the edge when Raid King just went down in the bot I mean, it, it was expected it yeah. was expected like he dies or Muff gets uh, TP back and, and heals him but you know what this is also uh, oh. Yeah. Oh okay. my god. He was, wow. I, it's, he almost died before, but I thought he'd learn his lesson and just back up a little bit, but no. Just mm. side blades. Supreme is really good. I'm actually surprised that he kills uh, Focus that easily. But... Yeah. All right. Also, Tug is playing offlane. Uh, in Adfinim, Tug used to play mid, right? Remember? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Tug was mid and Madara was carry. But all right. Now they have... Uh... Madara carry and tag offlane with focus on that mid. I believe focus played with them long, long time ago too. I mean, uh, we, we've been over this before. Like the, like that kind of bulk and stack. Everyone's played with everyone, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, not really. Just Greeks played with Greeks. Yeah, to Greeks. Be honest. Well, yeah, kind of stick together and come around. Ba the Balkans, ba well. Balkan stacks. They we didn't mix quite a lot, you know. We like our teams to be pure blooded. We don't mix Jeez. too much. <laughs> so, so it's Greek stacks and the Yugoslavian stacks. Focus gonna go down again. Verify won't save his life. Nice rotation from Senny. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And meanwhile, Saberlight is just farming. And this game, even though Raid King is suffering quite a lot, if Lina continues feeding the way she is, mm, this game will be over. You can't feed their midder this hard. And their axe is also having the freest time of his life. Um, Gyro and Wisp, yeah, they're, they're free farming, obviously. But uh, axe is going to be such a big, such a big problem. They fix that so much when trying to counter this safe lane hit by Maniacs. They've left themselves exposed in the others. You know? The Lino versus TA matchup is known to be TA favored, even after the nerf to Refraction. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it here. Maybe, maybe a little bit more due to the slip-ups. Like, there were a few moments where he shouldn't have died. And you can see how defensive he's feeling, right? This Observer under his own tower because he realizes the importance of keeping vision for the Light Striker rays. And finally, Saberlight gets punished for his, uh, his greedy farm. I mean, Saberlight gets punished, but 
No, I don't know, man. It's, it's not the biggest of deals. Uh, like, he always gets punished once, but oh, no. he they, goes back to farm. They're doing it again. They bait focus in. He'll stun up, but the burn gets him. Like... What, what yeah, are we really is... seeing is this kind of... Uh, I don't want to say it's tilt, but is it kind of like he's getting put on edge a little bit and not responding how he should? Hmm. Because he... Like, yeah. TA went super aggressive. He was up in his face with creeps there. So. Listen, listen, listen. This Lena is done. This Lina does not have a game anymore. She's level 4, she's level then. 6. Support lane? Oh, Spartan. It's support lane. Ooh, it's going to be close. He's got the fair fire to keep him up. Senny has got the dive, though. You try for it. Brain sack comes out. Lose real. We'll be sidestep. I won't pursue this. Mm -hmm. Rune's coming up in 10 seconds. Axe is going to maybe try. Nah, he won't try no, to No, no, no. He needs to run. Man, focus, for my focus, my friend. I, I don't think you should be mid anymore. You will die very soon, once again. That's how I feel, at least. If he gets clipped by a trap like that, with one yeah. rotation from Phoenix or Axe, he will just fall. They didn't even, they didn't even give him a sentry. That's the thing. That's true. And they need to give him a sentry mid. Well, he also had never had room control either, right? Because there was just that that very defensive ward under the tower here. So you could just about see the Templar Assassin's high ground, but you didn't have anything else. This they rotated mid, and I don't oh. know what Tax is doing. Save He's alive. alone. He's going for a party alone. If he gets enough spins, Focus is dead. There's rotation no, he, out here as well. He definitely can do that. Like, he can kill the Lina alone, but uh, only if he, uh, only if Lina is alone as well. Oh, Zenny. He could actually go for the die. He's going to burn through them here. Barn. Dude. He needs to actually brainstorm right now. Zenny is playing the vision perfectly. Okay. He misses the spirits. That's a shrine. Nah, not, 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 not super perfectly. It was all right. And uh, he misses a couple of spirits. Bane goes back to use that shrine. Super value shrine. Together with Lina and Wisp. Lina still level 5 though. Boots and one old talisman. Not even a bottle. And meanwhile, Her Supreme is using falling. the Carty Bolt wave pretty well. Half the tower already gone as well. Like, if you lose this too early with the Phoenix on the field, you're just going to see the side of Hippomaniacs flow into your map. I mean, most certainly they'll do that. I'm, I'm surprised they aren't diving this Lina a bit more right now. But because oh. of the Bane being there... Oh, oh no. Phoenix? They're gonna rotate here. Dive to slow him down, but they can't kill him off. No spins for Saberlight. RNG not inside. Mm -hmm. Still Saberlight. Top of the CS, having the time of his life. Question is, do you rush a naked blink here, or do you just go, okay, I'm in control, I go Vanguard, I just keep farming? Uh, usually he gets a blink with face boots, and uh, after he can get the blink out of the now. Oh, he may have made mistakes there. He done goof. He's done dead. Now Sandy needs to leave as well. But the Nightmare, no! They're gonna catch him. He's gonna try and burn his way down with the Sunray. One more hit would do it, and there's the brain stop to kill him off. Yeah, they have to, like, they, they've been given an advantage, definitely, but they are throwing it a little bit here and there. Focus. Focus is dead again. Oh, so close. The Dragon Slave, not enough. I mean, when you're... You, you just get baited in that kind of a situation because you're so far behind. Look at that. He gave 150 gold to that uh, TA. He's like, I'm already dead. You can't kill me, you know? So he goes for that play, tries to get the TA, dies in the end, sadly, but... Uh, I respect. I respect the attempt, definitely. He was very close to level 6, too. It's just a rough situation. He knows he's behind. He has to try and make this play. As you say, it's not worth much. So if he can, on the off chance, just get that trade. It's just ridiculously huge for him right now. So you respect it. I mean, he's only a support leaner after all this. Yeah, it's a position 5 leaner. It's fine. So what if she dies a few times? Position 5 leaner is usually tied, right? That's yeah. the thing. Cool. The, the, listen, this is the thing. Usually TA crushes Lina later on, but in the lane, Lina can do well. Mm -hmm. In this game, Lina went and died two times to TA on the mid lane. And I really don't see the way for her to recover and be really strong. They don't even have heroes that are good versus TA overall. So this should be a very, very easy game for Supreme. Unless he makes a couple of mistakes. That's always possible. Just like uh, Saberlight. Uh, had a really free game and then he started feeding a bit uh, and Phoenix too, so. It's one of those heroes that has these kind of huge power spikes that can be Bottom lane Senny? They might dive him here, let's see. Oh. He's got Sunray, uh, although uh, I, I, he revealed I mean, he hasn't gone. Listen, if they use Dreamcall on him, he's dead. He can't dive out, he can't, uh, he doesn't have spirits. 
Like they could have dream called him, went in with the orb and just killed him, but they were afraid someone will respond. So, uh, they're just being a little bit like passive, disciplined. I respect that. Top lane, we have a call. They believe he's going to be held by the home missile. Muff is here to protect him. They will clip him with a cooldown. They're going to turn around to Muff. Oh, Muff the target instead. Muff. He can't get invis. He gives his life so the axe doesn't have to. And in the meantime, they finally get around to killing off Phoenix in the bot lane. The TP's going to come in from Saber Light now. Reload as well. They're going to outnumber them here. Harry throws out the stun. The cool. Saber Light needs to move away. The Dream Cool snaps and he should be dead here. Trying to move They're across some spins, but he's done. They're being outplayed by four heroes so hard. Like, this Lina isn't even in the game, but they're all playing them with the, what they've got. Uh, Muff shows himself on that top lane because of something. I don't know what the reason was to actually uh, lose Invis. X was fine. X was going away. Yeah. It's like, even, even if they stun up the Axe, he doesn't even get a knife, but even if they do stun up the Axe, he just TPs off with the home missile. is huge. Fuck. Here. Yeah, he's dead. He's going for the TP. Oh. No, he gets it. It's just in time. They actually didn't have the burn rate, and the egg has been wasted by Senny. Uh, Senny, he dives on him. But he doesn't hit him with Fire Spirit. If he hits him with Fire Spirit and uses ulti, Puck is dead. But he just uses ulti there. So the fire, only dive and ulti were the ones burning him. And they don't deal, deal, deal as much damage as the Fire Spirits. Fire Spirits, yeah. This is the big kill if they can get it. Focus could be back in the game, but yeah, that Laguna was pathetic. Supreme, get it? he's got the wand. He can just turn around them here. Refraction in four seconds, the Nightmare's gonna come out. They have got another Light Strike array. They can try for the play, but it might be greedy. Refraction went up in time. Oh, nice use of the overgrowth by Muff. We'll keep the puck away. They'll break the dream call on Supreme and move away. I mean, this TA, they just used Grip and Laguna Blade and they didn't, didn't kill her. She's level 10, I mean. Just leave the beast alone. Try to kill everyone else like you did before and that's it. Play with the rest of them. <laughs> ignore this TA for as long as you can ignore her because if you fail a couple of attempts like that, the rest of her team is also farming and coming back into the match. I, I'm pretty sure the Brain Sap would have done more damage than the Laguna Blade there. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, for Hippomaniacs at least, is that Kari also suffered super hard in the lane. So his 4k net worth a little bit below his axe. While well, Puck did really well. He's just below the TA that has 202. So. But one of them is Midas Gaming here, right? Like, the Rave King will catch up. It's inevitable due to that build. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. He gets that Midas and uh, only now is he finishing phases and it's 12 minutes in. He needs some time until he finishes Radiance and it's on Wisp and Gyro to just punish him super hard until he gets it. If he does get it early on, then you're right that Midas works out. But if they pressure him so hard while he doesn't have it and he only has Midas, like he won't catch up ever and that Midas will be just, uh, just, a t just a good hope, I guess. That's all. Yeah, there's definitely going to need some, to be some carrying from Supreme in this game. I guess one benefit of the new changes with IO is that, you know, Jari doesn't get this free axe. He has to build into it himself, which kind of eats up into his earlier goal and an earlier slot. I mean, I'm happy that Wisp isn't giving gags anymore. I play Wisp a lot and, like, I'm sick and tired of being considered just an agonist. I'm more... Oh my god, this egg is going to fall. Uh, yeah, that's, just not that's an interesting play by Sunny. These eggs not looking so good in this game. Middle tower is under attack. Mm. I really think that their their team fight is crazy good, but they need to play it properly. And now they will try making a play. Brave King's coming though. They've got the fees grip. They tried this last time with Alina, and they'll just have you to don't back go. Away. You don't go on TA. Let's let's. Oh, they're not learning. They're not learning this at all. They're actually baiting them in. There's the rainbow TPs on the way. Fiend's Grip's gonna go out into the TA. Muff needs to stop this. Nice overgrowth. We'll slow him down a little bit. Supreme down to half HP. There's the Light Strike Array and there's enough damage for the Rocket Barrage to kill him off. They'll claim the first life of the Rave King. The Reincarnate Pox is gonna go down the second time. No way to escape this. Adfinum is just completely outplaying them. They're missing damage on Hippomaniacs and uh, mostly they're missing damage because they aren't playing their heroes right. Um, they're taking these fights left, right, and center instead of just uh, utilizing what they're good at, and that's the ulti of Phoenix plus the axe call plus the plus the overgrowth. Right, it's like so easy for them to have a good team fight. Axe has a blink and he's mid. There he is. Goes in. Double pull coming out. Some ray as well. Muff trying to move across to do something, but he's already used the overgrowth and instead Saberlight. He might go down. Light strike ray stuns him up. Saying he trying to slow us down a bit. Going on focus. They dunk him down and kill him off. Sun's gonna come up the home missile. The turnaround damage is enough. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, baby. Did you see that? Like, he, he dunks Lina, 
Then he turns towards Bane, but he's stunned, so he can't go into the Bane, but uh, he starts using, like, his hands start, like, doing that motion, like he's climbing or something on Axe. That was, oh god, that was so hilarious. I love that. Uh, anyway, I expected that fight to go super badly for Hippomaniacs, but yeah. he understands just how strong they are with just the blink on Axe. Saberlight shows up with that blink and instantly they, they get a good fight. They do kill that Lina that was already kind of dead, right? She, like, uh, he didn't have a good time. But they take down Bane too, so two kills and they don't lose anyone in that uh, engagement. So, yeah, this is what I mean. They need to be playing around this axe with him and they need to be playing as a team and it should be much easier for them from now on. Well, most importantly, Liz, they keep that tier one tower up. With a train on your side, you can't afford to give that mid one over this early. That's, that's actually a very good point as well. They don't, like, as long as they aren't losing tier ones, as long as they're being damaged but not completely lost, they're in a good spot. As, uh, they mean a lot. It's a lot of map control, those tier ones. Nice. Agnum's completed on Gyro. He's going towards the BKB. That will uh, help him out when it comes to fights. He, he will be very tanky, but he still won't be dishing out that crazy amount of damage. Mostly magical in these next couple of fights. And you're still at the mercy of Sableye with his calls here as well. Mm. That's kind of one of the conundrums of the IO Gyro as well. It can be pretty easy to find yourself both caught in a call. They can actually make some plays here. They have got the reload. So if they could set something up elsewhere, it'd be good. But they're all just circulating towards the mid lane. They want to get rid of this tower now. They've lost the tier one top and they're not even in position to push just yet. They'll start now. But there could be a response. Hippo Maniac starting to TP Senny back at the tier two. Down a ward on the side of Adfinum to give vision. They're not killing this quick enough though. There's going to be a jump coming in. There's the call straight away. Just time thrown out. And Alina trying to burn her up as quickly as possible. The dream call comes out. They can actually throw down the egg on the side. Beautifully placed. The Gunu as well. They'll be able to find the kill on the red thing and axe. They turn around to the egg now. No, just make it a pop. With the Fiend's group active, they find the kill on the Supreme. And that backfired horribly for Hippo Maniacs. Okay, I, love how Triant, I love how Triant moves in to use the overgrowth. <laughs> After four of his teammates are already dead. He's like, all right, guys, I'm here. But uh, they didn't play that thing fight properly. I. Uh, X jumps in, Phoenix takes a little bit too much time to use that tag afterwards. I think if you're if you're a maniac, your approach to the teamfight should be a little bit different. I think Phoenix should be the first one jumping in using the egg, and then once they all turn on it, you, you follow up with tax and call. Uh, it, it's much easier. It's much easier that way for them. But the problem is this Phoenix is still level 11. It gets like that for for the play, for that play they need level 12 or Phoenix because it might just happen the egg just dies instantly. So. That's true. It only, take, it only takes six hits right now, right? Seven. Uh, five, actually, sorry. Yes, five. For someone, for, for someone that plays a thousand games of Phoenix. You I think you know this battle, Liz. Yeah. You know what it is. You know not to cast your ult if you have level two. I get it. Uh oh, nightmare. Speaking of the man himself, Senny Sans up. They're trying to heal him up a little bit with his sisters of Trim, but it may be too late. They'll keep him just about alive. Now they'll turn around, blowing down the eye. Dive through, there's the overgrowth as well, but the cooldown's coming in. Senny's gonna die on the back line if he's not careful. Bug moves in, looks for a bigger kill. They'll be able to find two kills on the sports inside the Adfinum and turn around them. Madara needs to get out of it quicker than this. Life Strike Ray connects on Akari. Has got the reincarnate to work with, they'll burn through. Madara's gonna go down, the buyback comes out. Io too late to save the life of the Jara. Akari will reincarnate, ready to fight for more. Maybe next time, gonna relocate soon. Nice, use the Laguna to get rid of Senny and get a chase forward on the Supreme as well. Run out of fraction charges here. Bug just tanking it all up. Duster reveal and make sure he can't midway. Life Strike Ray fluff. Buyback comes out for Phoenix. Moving him right now. Pups looking to escape. Gets under the high ground. They do see him. The pink's coming out, though. They can't actually get vision long enough. And it looks like he'll TP out to safety. I Duster mean, through, looking for more. Find nothing. They, no, they didn't understand where he was. Uh, they didn't uh, see him. They thought that he's on the other side. They could have used the trap on the cliff. If they used the trap, they would know. Unfortunate for them. Uh, there. And yeah, Puck survives. He gets out. They did get the big kill on the gyro, though. Mm -hmm. Hippomaniacs, yeah. you don't mind that too much. And they finally got that's, level 12 on Senny. That's a 5 kill streak on, on the gyro. Level 12 on Senny. He bought a use this game. Oh. Uh, I guess. If, uh, I mean. I mean, if you don't want to fire spirit smoke before you egg, you could always use someone, I uh, guess. I think it's for multiple things. First is the silence from Puck. Mm -hmm. he's, I guess he's afraid that Puck is going to, to just burst him. I don't know. Oh. He made mistakes. The going to come out. The blame mail there as well. He's dead. They did commit the egg. So they'll be able to find the eye without any follow up coming out from Adfinum. So I will go and down to double thing, kill for save light. They need to get run out here. And the second thing with tools, you can catch Wisp like that or Bane's grip. You can stop the grip as well. But there are some things that you're benefiting from when it comes to that. Uh, 
but when it comes to that mules and now you can go into the pit why not your ta has dazo 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 first time i call it that way dazo she has a dazo later and uh wraith can cast his little passive there's axe there too as well you don't have an egg but they don't have gyro in place so this is very easy for uh team czech republic hippomaniacs to take it easily Yep. Rose is a little bit dazed from the days of later damage, and they'll be able to get their hands on a kill on the side as well, as Bane was hanging around for reasons unknown to anyone. I wonder if, if they appreciate that I'm calling them a Czech team, because Hippomaniacs is a Slovakian organization, but everyone that plays in it is, is Czech. Czech Slovakians, it's all good, you can have both. Oh, man, come on, don't go there! They broke apart! They're not together anymore. They can be unified once more. It's like it's like you know that that couple that has the same uh, Facebook profile, like Jim Jaina Jones or something like that. Oh, you mean you know like the I couples mean? that even share the profile, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Couples that share their profile. <laughs> that that used to be Czechoslovakia. Oh, Muff. oh, they may have fed him in here. Overgrowth Supreme moves this straight away. Looking in the eye, trying to get rid of him. There's the calls well, beautifully done. Sable Light locking them all in the spot. Light Strike Ray oh. comes to know that they're oh. going to turn around. Beautifully done for focus. They'll get the Aegis. And now when TA comes up, no one's nearby. They're trying to get Curry across, but he's far, far away. The Supreme will be sent far, far away back to his own base. Dead that for 50 so seconds. Ah, that was very greedy by Hippomaniacs. They're strong, but they're not that strong. That was just Axe, TA, and uh, Treant fighting in the enemies. Like, I see that fight and I instantly know, all right, it's going to go well for a couple of seconds, but if anyone responds on the side of that Finham, they're all dead. And yeah, Focus respawn, responds, he, he gets there from from the shrine. He pops his ulti, catches all three of them, Lagunas them, just cleans them up. It's, it's very simple. That was a little bit, not little bit, that was very greedy uh, by Hippomania. And as a result of that, look at this. The Lena support has now become a core. Aether Lens, Yule's top of network. She's top of network, man. She was crushed on that mid lane. She's top of network, right? That's crazy. This come is back, the master strat, you know? Yeah, you just you feed on purpose and then you come back. Focus is just evolving the meta. We're going back to like, well, what was it? 20, was it 2015 or 2016 when we had the comeback gold out of control? I love that. That was the same time when you could buy back all the time, so you could never really guess where the game is gonna go unless you have Spectre in the game, because she always wins. Yeah, of course. One, one team fight 4,000 gold for the Spectre with the comeback mechanics. Easy. Easy. That wasn't fun. You're I hated sick, that. Sick. Yeah, I was about to say, you're a sick man if you enjoyed that. Now, I hated two patches. Every other patch was fine for me, but I hated two patches. The first one was Sniper and Disco Pony. I really didn't know what to do in that patch. I felt so useless. Wait, was that the and Sniper and Troll Wall of one? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sniper Troll and Disco Pony were super popular in that patch. And then the second patch was that with Comeback Gold. That was also very, very frustrating to play. It was a little bit of a horror story. This is excluding the obvious phases where new heroes join Captain's Mode and are broken. We, we know those ones are not fun unless you spam the hero. I mean, you can always ban the hero, right? You just ban it and you play play a game. Uh, one out of three games gets ruined, but whatever. The other two games are good. But uh, when you when you're playing a patch that is weird, that, that's 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 horrible. There are just some patches that are just hard to play. You missed the uh, the old like you know, noble ridiculous picks like ah got him picks like brood mother. Unless uh, yeah, unless, unless you're someone like what what's his name? What was that guy? The Russian guy that was 9k with Spectre and was top of the leaderboards. And then Spectre got nerfed, the patch got nerfed, and he dropped to like a thousand rank instantly. So that, so basically, Russian Henry Dorr. I don't know who Henry Dorr is. Oh, he's that guy that keeps buying accounts, and then the behavior score goes down, and he blames people for reporting him. And think ah, really yeah, good. yeah, someone was talking about him actually recently. Yeah, because he got banned, I... perma banned by Valve. Exactly. So I I heard someone talking about him that he got perma banned, but I still don't know who that is. Was yeah. he a streamer or something? Yeah, he's because like a streamer. He got popular in the whole um, the whole copyright issues thing, uh, where mm -hmm. he streamed ESL tournaments. And then he had a following, and he ba basically the, what would keep happening is he'd get accounts and they'd kind of get ran into the ground with rating. Uh, or like he said, he his defense is that it was to do with the behavior score, and he was getting crappy games because of that, and that's why he kept like losing MMR. You know what? In his defense, having uh, like a low behavior score can be really bad. Yeah. Specifically, if you're if you're like a, a trash kind of a person and you keep on flaming, 
then you're you're really bad because the thing is like if you have bad behavior score and you're, you continue flaming you will have bad games for sure but if you stop flaming if you just play if you're a normal human being like you get out of bad behavior score you just get out of it sometimes even when you spam tech oh, exactly oh. I, I know that from experience nightmare Lena was protected there, but that'll slow down any potential pursuit. Hippomaniac can back up if they want to, but the Fiend's Grip on the side, they can actually interrupt with the Yules. Nice dive in from Senny. We'll back away. He's not going to commit the egg just yet, but now Murray charging in. Sunray's going to go out. Focus down half HP already. Supreme trying to chase on through. The call is going to be there. Call on the side. He's going to actually find Puck here. They're going to throw down the egg as well. Puck stunned up, but still, he's going to go down. Chase approved. BKB activate on Supreme. They need to retreat on the side of Advin. And buyback comes out from Puck. TP into the shrine, but they've already lost Fane on buyback as well. They need to get out right now. Dive away. It looks like they might be able to get everyone out, but Curry has got the reincarnate to work with. We'll turn around, tank the home missile. Sunray in the choke point. There's the call coming out. Blade Mel thrown out. There's reincarnate use. Fug needs to get out of this, but the dream call thrown out to free instead. And now Madara charging full for his own BKB. There's use the overgrowth as well. Saberlight hit up a little Guna Blade, but gonna stay alive for the time being. Brave King not so lucky. Saberlight can blink away in one second. The Light Striker A scouting out, looking for more. Senny has dive in eight seconds. Needs to buy a lot of time here though. Dragon Slave looking for him. He's living life on the edge right now. Muff will escape from the tree line. Looks like Senny can dive away. He doesn't have a TP to escape. They're actually going to reload down to the bot lane as maybe next time wants to pick up the runes. But they're already gone. Supreme was quick off the mark. Man, he relocated all along. This TA could blow him up. Yeah, he actually, you die in a matter of seconds. But oh, it's going to be close. He'll be able to get away. No, no, no. The one's big enough. But now, when he returns, they will wait in. Uh, very well played by uh, Madara, by the way. I need to commend him for that whole fight. The way he was patient with the BKB and then uses it at the last few seconds of the team fight. That was really well played by him, as it allowed them to just win that fight. As he's not that... He's strong, he's a level 18 gyro, but his item build isn't really there yet. He has Agonims and BKB. It was the methodical but... approach to moving towards their shrine, right? Like, they were always retreating and covering the escape. Like, Puck getting caught out like that was unfortunate, but they read it well. Yeah, they... when, when he bought back, when he bought back and used the Dream Call uh, on that stairs to the shrine, that Speaking was also really of good. Dream Calls... Phoenix makes small mistake, has yours. He needs to dive away right now, but Light Strike Ray is already there, and he no longer is. Yeah, you can't escape that. Bane, Lina, and fuck. Uh, the Disables, there are just too many, and he falls. Mm. Yeah, now there's a Maelstrom on Madara as well, so he'll be able to hit these heroes much, much better, and he'll be able to farm a bit faster too. So, even though he's on top right now, he should have much more very soon maybe even this satanic completed in, in a matter of minutes just a couple of minutes and he'll have it but with wisp and gyro their biggest like strength is the fact that they farm so fast especially when he gets that maelstrom um, on the other side raid king falling behind a bit as that radiance moving towards what is it is it the blade mail it's yeah, the blade, blade mail for right now yeah, shiva's also on the courier i think that's for Senny. yeah he's he's getting closer to to it as well um, that's definitely a lot of help, like messing with their damage output also makes it easier for him to use that tag. Uh, Tree and Protector has a Blink Dagger too, makes their team fight a lot better, as you can initiate with the Egg first, or even the Tree with the Blink Overgrowth and then into the Egg. And only then Saberlight needs to initiate if someone pops a BKB or something like that. It's really important that when you're playing this Axe, you have more heroes that can initiate first. Yep. Like, that's what, what many drafts miss. Like, sometimes you have an axe, but he's the only one that can uh, jump in. He jumps in, he gets used or something similar, and then your whole team fight is useless. But it's really good that in this fight, in this team, they have multiple ways. They're not one-dimensional when it comes to when it comes to initiating. That's, that's, and that's what every team needs. These sort of layered drafts are especially important when you draft something like the Phoenix, right? Because, you know, that... That explosion on the egg is crucial because it goes for the BKB. You need to try and like stack and delay your stuns as much as possible whenever the egg is at risk. Mm -hmm. As long as you read that well, it should be fine. In fact, we've seen that so far this game. When Hippomaniacs don't necessarily just throw out all their stuns at the beginning, the eggs go off, they look pretty good. But I mean, especially in that mid engagement, if you remember where they just jumped first and then threw out an egg, it just all fell apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, using that egg first. Uh... And then following up would be good, but it's always scary to like you. You need you need big superior cojones. Vision. Or because yeah, or uh, big cojones works as well. He, or maybe a Shiva's, which he now has. He still hasn't picked up yeah. his recipe though. Come yeah, on, that definitely helps. Come on, Senny. Notice the problem here. Put two and two together, buddy. 
just proof that you know birds don't have big brains. I shouldn't be saying that because I'm a pigeon. But <laughs> you do so dumb. <laughs> that's why I do play by play, my friend. <laughs> that that was awesome. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Lizards, there is just this. It's fine. There's just very agile. I heard. So we have that going for us. We hide behind rocks and whatnot. Anyways, uh, as I said, Gyro finished Focus. Maelstrom, suddenly he has 3k gold. They don't want you to talk about the Gyro, they want you to talk about that. Because that's a very yeah. aggressive posturing from Focus when he's all alone. I guess he was... Making room for the Gyro? Let's say it's that. That's, that sounds feasible. He, he, he didn't focus. That's was kind of been his problem for half this game. And now Hippomane is going to focus on Rush. Yeah, and this should be a very quick rush. They don't have a buyback on Lina, so it's very difficult to uh, fight that. Also, Wisp relocated from the top lane towards bottom. Oh. Gyro retreating completely from the top lane, yeah. thinking they might go for him. And they will, because yeah. they had a ward down. Surprise, maybe next time. Exactly what he'll be saying about his attempt to relocate, because this one did not work out in a favorable way at all. He'll try and move away with the Teva, but it's too late. He's dead. Rush has been claimed. Supreme has a mm. second life. That second life for Supreme. That's also cheese for uh, curry. That's also a nullifier almost completed on Supreme. He'll have it after a few creep camps. Yeah, overall, game is again looking really good for Hippomaniacs, but uh, this isn't an easy game. There's just 4k ahead. They need to execute their fights very well. Uh, if they don't, this Gyro and Wisp combination with the Puck will destroy them. And at Finham have I don't think they have many problems defending high ground. They should be it shouldn't be too hard for them. They have the orb to work with, they have Lina to spam waves out. To down. Chip them, make some yeah, they, they can just chip them, chip them, chip them and then go. But if they jump first, that's where problems arise. So they have to be careful with bug. And pretty aggressive here. Oh, he was gonna come out, stop any call from Saber Light. Blade Mail to make sure he doesn't get hit up. Sleep Brave King, but now that just means Supreme hits onto the towers. Says thank you for the free damage. So get the tier free. Done out and save light again. But Sunray keeps him healthy. Gyro is deep being here now. It should be the moment to move away. The Dream Cork next on the free. Trying to actually move in here, but they're gonna be stunned up on Medora. Now the Laguna going out. Accident pretty low. Stunned up the Light Strike Raylord. Just sounds about to kill him off. Egg on the side. Overgrowth is there as well. Can they actually do enough work with this? They should stun him up. Trying to get rid of the egg in time. Medora, he made a mistake. The BKB still running, but now he's stunned up. They're gonna try and heal him with the mech and again. Lodo Curry still alive. Hasn't gone just yet. Now the reincarnate will finally be claimed. Supreme, first life gone with the Aegis. He did use the Fiend Strip. Curry, the Blade Mail active. Medara's killing himself and he's gonna go down for it. The cooldown kills him off. Yule's out. Missed times the Light Strike Array stun and Supreme about to blink away. He'll get out of this. They do kill off four and they claim the Aegis. They gave the life a Jarvis. but Supreme needs to escape fast. Nightmare's gonna be there. He never got his hands on his Nullify and a big mistake made by the side of Hippo Maniacs as it looks like Adfinum will hold in style. Mother of Jaro, my friend, he just destroyed them. That's what he did. He just destroyed them with that Satanic. Yeah, in the end, he does kill himself, but that's only to get that Rampage. He, he <laughs> brought four of them down and then he kills himself and he's like, yeah, that's a Rampage, boys. Well, he didn't get all of the kills, but whatever, who cares? I mean, he, he was basically, he, he was, he was, he was basically, Rampage. Yeah, he, he was basically the, the only one dishing out so much damage. And uh, but that's what I said, they had cheese, they had ages. They didn't get to use the cheese, which was really po poorly uh, played by them. I think they needed to save the attacks for just a few seconds somehow. Maybe if, if the egg was positioned a bit more aggressively, then the axe doesn't die there instantly. Uh, axe, he needed like a millisecond and he can use the cheese. So I mean, do you think they, maybe they... the other problem is they just uh, focus? Okay, cancel yeah, the TV or get away. But I was going to say, do you think the bigger problem was they didn't even wait for the nullifier on TA? No, I think, I mean, that's also a problem, but... A bigger problem is the fact that they uh, didn't save the axe, obviously. If they save the axe, that fight is easier. Also, it's not that they didn't want to wait for the nullifier. They were going back. It's Puck that stopped them from going back. Tug played that really well. He jumps them, stops them from retreating, and then they clean them up with the gyro and everyone else. Okay. It's just I was wondering, because, you know, you had this kind of imminency they felt, even though they just got their hands on Aegis, right? Like, sometimes it's good to just, just buy one or two minutes, farm up your next item, then go, right? So I'm just thinking the Satanic, you know, it keeps Jaro alive so long there. You know he's going for it, and you know you're closing time into the Nullifier as well. Mm. That's that Satanic, though. He definitely demonstrated that really well in that last fight. Going towards the Manta next to get rid of uh, the Overgrowth and Fun. these pesky roots. That's Spartan. pretty neat, my friend. He'll pay a price for it. I really like the grip as well. Very ballsy. But Spartan is that kind of a guy, you know, jumps in. I mean, he's a spot. 
Come on. He's a Spartan. He doesn't care, man. He he faces danger. He doesn't run away from it. Haste. Tastes Dying worse odds than three to one. There's even a movie about it. Three hundred to several thousand. Dyer's Solutions just trying to keep things pushed in. They want to move up on his high grounds. So they can actually just posture. Jara has shown up the tower. They might try for this. Top has At least be able to get the shrines. Dyer's they made multiple movies about attack. that. There's like three they movies. Did. Was it three? I thought it was two. There's the, the, there's the base one. And there's oh well. There's the it depends. Are you like counting of series or the original? There was an original as well. No, I'm counting like there's this one with boats. Yeah. They're fighting. Shrines. Shrines. There's that one. Which isn't like 300. They kind of cheat on that. It's more than 300 responses. Okay, I took the time to count them all in that scene. MNT has spent a lot of the game doing exactly this. The call's going to come out. Can they blow them up in time? Yes, they can. Yeah, you can't use the mech or the ghost because of the nullifier. And he gets just destroyed. They also take all the four bounties because of that. But it's something... It's like how he plays, you know. He's a little bit gre more on the greedier side. Uh, every now and then he does get punished, but most of the time it definitely uh, gives him a lot of items. One of the reasons why he has a mech and uh, goes straight now. They try to afford him to fuck here. They actually need to back away because Madara is here as well. Green call. Connects on the one. Benny has to pop the egg. That's going to be a waste. They should be able to get rid of this in time. It's going to be close though. If they stun right now, but it's too late. Hurry. Wait, it's way too long there. Uh, he was just uh, afraid a little bit. Not as manly. I mean, he should be afraid yeah, now. Spartan. Reinforcements coming. There's the BKB. The cool's already there. Stable light with the blade mail active. Madara taking a lot of damage. Panic's gonna come out in time. Hurry. Chase the board. Stun on the bank. Trying to get real quick enough. The buyback comes out from the iron from the Phoenix. Relocate in. Maybe next time it's here. Stable light chasing. Nice pull on the two. The nullifier is out as well. Look up the damage to bring down the lead. They'll be able to do it. 90 seconds on the sideline. Dive through. Slows them all down. Sandy with the as well. Madara. He hasn't got panic anymore. No more BKB either. They'll try and use the buy a little bit of time. Nice relocate out. Maybe next time keeps him alive. Puck managed to escape as well. On the high ground, safe for now, but the creep waves are pushing in, they are outnumbered. That was Sunny that messed it up, isn't it? Yeah, like it was his yules. Yeah, he yuled the gyro instead of yuling the wisp. If he yules the wisp, he breaks the relo. That would be much better, but sadly that is not what happened, and gyro escapes. They buy back who? They buy back Sunny on the other side, wisp buyback, so uh, position four for position four, not the end of the world. Uh, but a good fight nonetheless for uh, Hippomaniacs, I think, as they take down the Lina. Dream call on the free. That's the cooldown as well. They got the flat cannon going, but a lot of damage being done on a Madara here. Hurry standing he ground, dive directly through. We got to find a kill here on the T8. He already down. Now the reincarnate has been used. Curry left alone in the base. Madara ready to fight. Great King ready to retreat. Then he doesn't have another egg for 24 seconds. BKB Curry will TP away successfully. Fake made there though. TA just getting melted through so damn quickly. Yeah, she escapes uh, to well. She escapes the fountain. She escapes to the She's afterlife. Still. Yeah, where she'll respawn in 70 seconds. I mean, I respect that. Save 50 gold on a TP, you know? Mm -hmm. Very good. Hex will be purchased by Phoenix, who is also level 21 right now. Uh, Sunny, like, he's a bird player. He really likes this hero. Actually had, had him uh, in many of my pubs, too. Yeah, no, I remember seeing you guys in Greece. You were hugging him. You were loving him. You were like, oh, Senny, another bird, brother. I love you. Yeah, yeah. Are you just jelly? Is that it? That you don't I mean, oh, I'm a bird rip. too. Where's the appreciation? This bird is dying, okay? I don't die He's like this. dying though. Oh, cool. dying, though. You always buy a little bit of time. I think they're baiting themselves a little bit here. The egg will come out in time, but they can just burn through it. It's gone. Great fire blast. Curry chasing in. Save light. Gets the dunk on the spot, but they need more than this. The relocate out. Bug left behind. That's a mistake. Cool to hold him in the spot. Rude up as well, but too late. The big crit kills him off. 125 seconds dead. Does have He doesn't care. That's, that's just... Like two minutes in which he's going to gain 800 gold. 840. Who cares? I mean, where's the dream call rapid fire? Come on. Dude, he has plus 420. <laughs> I, I love whoever did this plus four, 420, man. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. 420. Come on, bro. Blaze it. I mean, because, you know, you got to be high if you take the alternative talent. That's what they were thinking. Oh, God. I don't know, that puck can damage quite quite hard. It can, talent. but you need a lot of gold at that point to justify it. Yeah, that's true. I think we've seen... Uh, we saw one of the TI qualifiers that went for the Daedalus build. One of the CIS teams. Curry, standing his ground. Skelly Bros die for his sins. Less than use. Dara, front out home missile. But he can't hit the Curry. Has the blade mail activated. Now he needs to be careful, though, because they can cut him out a little. 
This time they keep him supreme back. They don't want to lose him like last time. He's basically in the same spot he died last time, in fact. DP out from Bane. Get hit quicker. Nice. They're still 56 on Puck. They don't want to commit this buyback. What's the half? So far, it's working. It's still a minute until Roche is up. I haven't got Senny for another 15 seconds. And he still has to actually get out. And there's no easy way to TP forward. Just a long nap time. Nothing, nothing out of the usual here. Wraith King just sleeping for an attorney. Feeble is a fun skill. Down once. Oh, now he needs to be careful. He's in a lot of trouble here. He's going to activate the DKB. The Fiend's Grip is out. They need to drop this Sableye. Thinking about going in, but no, he's now hit up by the Axe. He can't actually go for the blink in. Curry stands his ground. Blame Mail just trying to turn them, but they might just chase this down. Nightmare is there. Madara is ready to go. Cool down. Jump in. Oh, no, they didn't actually get the North Fight time. The BKB comes out now. They're going to throw out the egg with the overgrowth. They might better pop it off this time. And this could be what they were looking for. Sableye with the control. They stun up Ayo. Burn it for him the Sunray as well. He's going to go down pretty fast. Madara needs to get out of here. He's in a lot of trouble. The cool just clipping on the edge. And now there's going to be use of the Dream Call. They're going to stun up Light Striker Ray and find kills under the TA, under the Ray King. And they're going to burn through the rest of Hippo Maniacs. All for the cost of an Ayo. You're happy with that trade. That Puck, man. And that Gyro, obviously. Well, but mostly that fuck with the five man coils and whatnot. He's a fuck for also, life. Also, I guess if you're hippo mani maniacs, you should go for Rosh first, bait them out, fight them around that pit. Don't fight them on their high ground where they're comfortable defending. I've reiterated that so many times already. Like, their high ground defense is scary, man. And you have these, like, you don't have anything that, that can just damage the tower without committing a hero, right? That. That Raid King goes uphill and they, they abandon him. They're like, dude, like, we can't help you, right? Like, we can't. So maybe it would be better if they just uh, go rush first, force a fight outside of their base, and then fight. I'm not saying... They can even win the next fight. This game isn't horrible for them still. Yeah, they're giving away cheese, ages, and agonims, but they can win fights that aren't near the high ground. When it, when when it's close to the high ground, that's a different story. It's really good. Well, now it's at their high ground because Fugs pushed in bolt double Kai wave. And he hits pretty hard for 211 at this stage. Just going for the Dagon build now. They have that Aegis and Madara, so he can just charge forward. He even has buyback. Io doesn't know for another two minutes. No reload shenanigans. They both go down. Oh, it's going to be costly for Hippomaniac. They have got the egg. Coming off cooldown now. All their big spells yeah, available. You see how Adfinum is disciplined. They know we don't have Wisp, even though we have Aegis, G, Zag, and not on, 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 on Lina. I think she's going to sell hers and use the... Oh, they actually... They, oh, they gave the eggs to Wisp. Well, that's oh. cute. Okay. I mean, this... Cool. this uh, uh, it's a good egg on Wisp. He dishes out quite a lot of damage with having spirits all the time on. It's weird though, ha like adjusting to the fact ball. that you have Wisps all the time, but uh, he deals quite a lot of damage. That's fun. If it pays off, smoke movement by Hippo Maniacs. Cool. Jumps straight onto Bane. They need to get room for the Inscript. Comes out. Down to half HP already. Die through. Egg on the back line. The Oak Grove as well. They can't deal with the Egg at all. Focus on the low ground. He can't even shoot for it. Madara trying to stand his ground with the BKB. But I am Bane already dead. Buy back on Bane. How does he get it quick enough though? Because Gyro's already gone. Once, and they might be able to find him try. Twice rather. Light Striker ready to buy a little bit of time. Moving in the silence by Pot. It's pretty cool. Madara can turn around right now, but no, he's going to be stunned up. Nullify, he's gone for the second time. And Puck will join him in the grave at this rate. He needs to get away. Space shift to buy a little bit of time. In the meantime, Muff will be found by the Lena. Folks being chased onto now. Light Striker 8. We'll throw it out. BKB's there from Curry. Now the dive through. Sheep's slow him down. Focus knows that he's dead. He can't kill Senny. He's going to eat the cheese for the time being. The Ray Fire Blast is right there. In the meantime, Sableye will find the kill on the Fog. And now they'll look for more. Light Striker 8 coming out. Senny getting pretty low. He might give his life for this nightmare. Is there. They cover the escape. Spartan does get Lena out. But he can't afford to go down here because he did buy back. They're going to scout for this. Sableye got the blink in three seconds. Spartan, no easy escape from this. They're looking the wrong way, though. Ping comes out now. They know where he is. Fire Spirit's thrown out. Senny reluctant to jump in. He doesn't want to give his life. Dive's still on cooldown for two seconds, but they find him. Spartan will inevitably fall. Yule's there to slow him down. Sableye set up for the cool. And it's an easy finish one of the Bane and dead for over 100 seconds. Yeah, that, that, was, that one was much easier. That fight, that is. Like, it, it was a... Pretty long fight, but you're playing versus Aegis and Cheese. But you saw it, right? Even though, even though uh, they are playing versus Aegis, Cheese, and the fresh Agnims on the Wisp, they, they they take the fight much easier when the fight is not on their high ground. You know, it's much simpler to execute that fight. Sebi! 
He had yours. He had yours, he had dive. He could have lived. He did not respect the Aghanim's Lena. Yep. Oh, the hard way. Sableye is coming about, oh. though. TP out from Muff as well. But Lena will just TP back to safety. Focus. Back to the bot lane just to defend this incoming creep wave that Kari's been pushing. Yeah, Kari, he needs some more items right now. He finished that AC, but has 4k gold stashed up. That uh, Basher or Abyssal would be really good for them for the next couple of fights. And they have to do the same thing again. I Like, it comes down to where you choose your fights. Good teams, why they are so good is not only because they fight well and execute fights well. It's also that they choose where to fight. And I'm not only uh, saying... Oh, focus. Saberlight is on top of him, but he can't go for this kill. No, it's, it's too he greedy. He needs more. Yeah, and there's Relocate. He needs more. Back away. But they might find them on the bounty, though. Ooh. They might find them on the I bounty. I scouts out Kari. They back away. Trap slows down a little bit. Now the cool comes out. Controlling up the Lina. Tever across to protect their life. BKB from Saberlight to make sure he can't be controlled up. Now the BKB is being activated to chase one proof with Saberlight. Why Another did he use stun? Kills. Kari. Trying to zone them away with the Radiance to make sure they can't jump in. They will back off here, even with the Light Strike array connecting. When did he use the stun on Gyro? He was just following him with Kari. Yeah. Uh, like, he has had Red Fire Blast. He never used it. I think he was worried he was... about them jumping in the moment he stunned, right? And there's a Manta as well know. on Gyro. Uh, yeah, he, with Manta, I guess he could dodge it. That's the only reason. That's that's a proper reason. Everything else isn't really uh, proper. But, yeah, uh, nothing happens there. They still are waiting for Bane, who will respawn in six seconds. And after that, it will be easier for uh, Adfinim to fight. But I, I still think that Adfinim, for them to fight, they need to have a really strategical position on the map. And this is something that isn't really talked about a lot. But for this team to win, they need to somehow be on some high ground across the map. Uh, and the best high ground is obviously their side of the map and their base. But you can't win the game if you're just defending all the time. So you need to set up a perimeter somewhere on the map, maybe around that rush. And uh, put a couple of wards on cliffs and fight there because it's much easier for m much easier for them to do that than to fight on on an open field where uh, Axe is going to call, where Phoenix is going to jump on top of you. Uh, the thing is, like if you're somewhere on a cliff, like your base, uh, when Phoenix dives, you have vision on the egg, and the then it, it's much easier to fight. And that's it. Bottom line. Um, and Hippomaniacs for them, the the game plan is much easier. Uh, than it is for Adfinim. They don't really have to choose uh, too much, as long as they're not diving straight, head in, crazy boys, you know. They, they should be fine. Yeah, They're, they're it's, ahead. There's a concern that as this game kind of goes on Pippa Maniacs, you know, they're going to have two hard-hitting carries at least. Mm. Whereas they're 13k, with by the way, right now they're 12k behind, but you don't feel that. No. It doesn't feel that way. Because their teamfight is so crazy. These heroes have so much synergy. You know, it's like... It's like in Underlords, if you have two two units level three, or you have like some Crystal Maiden and three Arc Wardens, you know, like the Crystal Maiden is gonna win. Doesn't doesn't matter. Lizard here, well, trying to anymore. become an Underlords caster. Not anymore. She got nerfed. Good. I'm I, I'm not trying anything. I, I just play a couple of games. Uh, That's every how it night. begins. Every uh, night. Like, you know what's good? Yeah, every night before I go to sleep, um, I lay in my bed and I have this wireless mouse, so I can play from 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 distance which is pretty chill way to go to sleep so you're saying underlords puts you to sleep mm, i mean no not necessarily it's not a boring game it's just uh it's a perfect way to to like well it depends if someone else gets the crystal made not called strategy then it's boring game for you at least it got nerfed it got nerfed so it's fine okay hippo maniacs posture pretty over. aggressively here by the way are they Thinking of, would you like advise just waiting for Roche at the stage? Like, we yep. said they feel strong, but you don't. We see what happens every time they try and push into the space. No, definitely. Like, oh, the... unless they do this, focus has been found. Down to half HP. BKB from Save Light to make sure he can't be stunned up or controlled. And reinforcements on the way, but they turn around. Instead, they lose Seni. He was a little bit too slow to move away. Focus will escape this as well. The pings are coming out. Light Striker Ray to try and scout them out. Yeah, got the blink forward. This isn't good for Hippomaniacs. No, they need to abort right now because Gyro, he's backstabbing here. They're looking for the soft underbelly. Saberlight no longer has a BKB. He needs to blink away. They're chasing through, looking for Kari. Scouting out with the bulls. They'll finally see him. They can make the play. BKB, TP away. They got the Fiend script. They have to commit it. 
And that means Kari is stuck here for a very long time. Very dead. The BKB is going to run out before the Fiends Crypt does. But now months, Ray Fire Blast stuns them up, but no one is coming to assist him. He will fall for the second time as Kari gives his life valiantly in the defense of a Trin looking to cut the wave, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think so. He has this trap as well. I'm not really certain uh, how he'll do that. I guess just attack the creeps. Maybe he thought he was, you know, much richer and had a meteor hammer. Yeah, sadly he isn't. They do have this trap, but they don't. It seems they don't want to use it. There we go. They use it. Yeah. Oh, that's jumped in. Let me jump. Axe. Nightmare up. A lot of damage done to Bane. Dream Call's gonna come down though. PKB is activated, but they have the Axe on part. And the chase through Spartan stays alive, but Belly will finally go down. Stabilize Battle Hunger. Stabilize himself, getting low on HP up the Laguna Blade. Will fall to the Dagon. The buyback came out from Rape King, but Supreme is gonna need more assistance than this. He's gonna go down. They find the kill on the Jaro. A huge one for them. The Blade Mail activated means Rape King can't be attacked. Jump in. Cool comes out. Fluff though. Doesn't connect on the focus. And Fug waited on the Illusory Orb to move through. BKB from focus to run away. We'll go for the TP out. As the call has been used. They have no way of stopping this. Kari doesn't get a bash on the first hit. They get the big kill yep. in Jaro. It did cost them a big buyback. It did cost them a big buyback, but it stops them from pushing high ground. It also buys them some time. And this TA should be up and breathing before Rosh respawns. So you'll, you'll be on even terms when that next Rosh comes. Um, I, I don't think it was super necessary for them to fight where they fought to, to lose that tax and, and the TA like that. But they decided to do it. I think they could have waited and just defended the high ground instead. But Because their high ground is also pretty good. High ground defense, that is. And they decide to try to go for the sneakier play for the gotcha play to catch them off guard when they're still not ne near the high ground. We do see teams kind of overfixate on this idea of a, a fake back from their opponents around this kind of cliff area. So it is tempting to make those sweet plays. But yeah, without the train in position, without that kind of control, it is an interesting play. It's not like Adfinim don't know the train's not there. He was very clearly inside just hitting creeps in the bot lane. Mm -hmm. Coming up, 50 minutes. These are worth quite a bit of cheddar. Get out of the illusion from Puck. Get rid of that to make sure they don't know when Roche is up. It's going to spawn in 10 seconds. Perfectly aligned with TA's respawn. Yeah, also very good uh, runes spawning that Arcane rune on the top lane will help whoever gets it. That is quite a lot. On that Finum, you can get it and it will help any heroes. Same goes for same goes for Hippomaniacs, but we'll see. Like, you can't just run to that rune right now. You need to smoke up, I, I guess. Uh, well, it seems that Kari will do that. Table Light gets it. Yeah. Skelly Bros go to work. World War 2 level of Zerg strats going on here as they just overwhelm Roche. Yeah, look at that. Actually, <laughs> Roshan isn't, he isn't taking a lot of damage, but this next Roche is super huge. Please refresh your end, Agnum. It's kind of interesting. Ooh, what was that for? Nightmare's gonna come and save a light. Kari is here. Nope, jump in. Cool. Oh, now they're gonna look for the play. Now the egg as well. On the low ground, they can't attack it quick enough. The BKB Madara trying to find this, but they haven't dealt with the egg at all. Gonna go pop, stuns them up. They're gonna lose Kari once. Ray Fire Blast takes for the Gyrocopter. Sunray interrupted by the Yules. Moving in, Light Strike Ray is there on the Ray Ping, but now they don't control up the Phoenix. BKB from Kari needs to stay alive long enough to bring down Madara to be able to do so. Focus. His own BKB running out soon. They're gonna move forward, look for the root, but they miss time it. Nice stun on the two. Focus trying to escape. Nullifier is chasing through right now. Trap to slow him down a little bit. Pot trying to be annoying on the side, but they're Curry ignoring died. him going straight for Lina. They get to kill Nakari in the meantime. Fog with the pick off, but he's hexed up right now. They're going to move in. They need to actually get a melt bash, but it's on cooldown. They misplay that a little bit. Some rays there. Yules needs to buy time to lose the other way, but there's a nullify and he's dead. Beautifully timed call by Saberlight. The buyback came off from Dara, and now they're going to fight. They mail's there. Light strike right. They're the damage between them. Axe going to get low. They use the satanic. They'll get rid of him. Dead for 125 seconds. Doesn't have buyback either. This could be the big moment they've been looking for. Try and chase through. Ranking bought back as well. They can get Roche and they can look to the high ground. Uh, Puck just won them the game, or maybe at least Roche. Uh, Puck just won the game when he uh, got thrown behind and killed that Raid King. He jumps him, finish off, finishes off Curry before he has his ulti up. And because of that, Jaro is like, all right, I guess I'll buy back now because they don't have a Raid King. They, he doesn't have buyback. Uh, we are going to win this fight definitely as he's not there. Or at least we are going to take Roche. Dive in. Oh. Did he snatch did he anything? Guys? No. No, no, he didn't get any of it. Yeah. Lucky to get out of his life in that situation because he does not have buyback either. He'd have it in 40 seconds. It's a tough hold though. With the big wombo combo, the maybe, but you only have a TA to follow up the damage. This Agonim has a Dagon 5. Agonim's E Blade coming. Like, that's just <laughs> filthy rich. 
Spooky boy. They ping it. I don't even know. They're going to force. Yeah. Benny dives in, slows him down with the Yules. And it's going to be tough to buy enough time. They're looking to get the Wraith Kings at least up before they end up fighting this. They're burning through Madara pretty quickly. JB Akbed, Supreme moving in, looking for the kill. Maybe next time moves far enough away. Supreme has to turn around to Madara. They love to panic. The overgrowth's going to be thrown out. The heck. And now they're going to use the egg, but the Lagoon already done. Buyback comes out from TA. The egg will be able to go pop, but it won't connect on anyone. Just the gyro on the tip. But they don't control it maybe next time, so they can't go in. He still has the cheese. He can still keep Madara up, even if they get him the first time. They're in trouble here. They buy enough time that actually in the end, Advenim, they can't go for the finish. They have to go for the racks instead. Radiance May have just hold. Has Miracle that they've done so. Axe yeah, up in 18 I mean... seconds. They bought back. They bought back and they fought there not to win the fight. They they fought there to delay them from taking the throne, which they most certainly did do. In the end, they lose their axes on the mid lane, but they don't lose the game. Com not completely, at least, but this game. I mean, uh, again, they're 24k behind, but they can win it. It's not a game in which this team is much, much weaker. We saw the team fights and how they went. If, if Hippomaniacs plans everything properly, they can still win a team fight. It, it is getting scarier and scarier, though. There's a... Yeah. I mean, they have a 38% chance to win on Hippomaniacs. So They're not out. There's, there's too much on Gyro right now. He has that butterfly. Uh, he has Aegis as well to work with. Um, and Puck is just crazy strong with T-Blade. Dagon 5, he can blow up a single target on his own. So... It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's it's doable. It's possible for Hippomaniacs for the check boys. We'll see if they manage to do it or not. They need full focus. I mean, on the next one fight. good fight could be definitive either way. Only two people in this game have buyback right now, and that is the Phoenix on one side and the Lena on the other. Both could be crucial here. So much individual pickoff potential for Afinum. Hippomaniacs, they need that big fight. Hex is going to come out. They dive straight through. Summer is there as well. Hex on the Phoenix, though. The call. Cool. Getting the control in. Overgrowth there as well. Io is going to go. He's gone. Gyro going to be chased on two next. The Phoenix comes out. The Egg is down. They're already going to lose Madara once. If they time this right, they might get the pop on the Egg when he comes back up from the Aegis. It's going to be close, but it's just a little bit too soon. Madara hit up by the call cool once more, though. And Gyro is going to go down for the second time this raid. Laguna's trying to find enough time. Stanley going to heal him up. Harry stands his ground. They'll find the kill on the TA. Green. Protector's dead as well. Hex is down. Madara no. go. Beautifully done. Save alive with the call cool once more, Alina. She's going to fall alongside him. As they have Come on, dunk her! Yours. Send her to hell! He doesn't have the mana, but they do have the big hits. They'll get the kill, the Hex does nothing, and it looks like they've held Puck, the last one alive. He's pulled off some miracles for Aphidim now, but he needs to get out himself. The problem is they know exactly where he is. The call missed time because the Yules is going to be there. Hex is Good there, next. though. Sunray as well, doing a lot of damage to the battle hunger, hurting like hell. Gonna get him low. He's just buying so much time. He's buying time, but this is not a way back to safety. The battle hunger renewed, and Fug is dead, and Wraith King is already pushing in on the mid. Lena is the only one with the buyback. She instantly buys back and goes to the top. But you see this? Like, they were 24k ahead. Now they're 10k ahead. 14k difference in that one fight. That's what I was talking about. If Hippomaniacs play it right, it doesn't matter how, how far behind they are. As these heroes of theirs, they don't need as much as heroes of Adfinum do. And Adfinum, they were all right in that fight. They waited for the gyro to respawn. Then they go into the fight with Puck and Lina. They had multiple stuns, but it just felt that that gyro wasn't able to take them in that fight. He also has Agonis infused, but it just wasn't enough. The nullify was they a crucial go. moment on that IO. That just stopped everything. There was no save. X out. Oh, Lina kill Lina. Again. If she goes down, this is all over. They're going to move in. Call's going to be there. He used the BKB with the blade mail active. He's doing a lot of damage to himself. And the Abyssal, the follow-up, means they can easily find it. He's charging the dunk. They use the refresh, oh. they, screw it, they screw it as they know it's over. Yeah, he tried to maybe uh, use refresher to Yule himself or pop another BKB. Oh, uh, Hippomaniacs need to be quicker than this. Gyro's up in 30 seconds. They should be able to do uh, it. They... Yeah, they aren't really fast enough. I mean, you might just see Spartan Fiend's grip. Yep, wrong target though, buddy. They'll move in with the eyes to try and protect his life, but it's too late. Throne is exposed, the egg goes down, still 10 seconds till the gyro is up, and if Io dies before that point, you're in trouble. They are finding a lot of time, but the Skelly Bros hitting into them. The egg doesn't quite stun them up, but they get the kill on the Io, they'll dive through to Spartan as well. He should be falling. Gyro up just in time to watch his base melt before his very eyes. So TP out. Yeah, that's game. But it's over. Cool's gonna be there. They'll eat up Madara as well. He also control him up as they finish the throne. Yeah, that was a really fun game, I have to say. Uh, the level of Dota that I saw from Ad Finem and Hippomaniacs is much higher than 
any team that I was uh, watching in this last couple of days. Well, not every every team. There is some some teams played well, but yesterday, like the the level of those was not nearly as good as this one. So this is much more fun to watch. Um, like you can see that both teams understand their uh, strategical opportunities and they are trying to grasp them at least. Sometimes you're watching those and you're asking yourself, just why aren't you doing this? Just why aren't you? Why aren't you? Why aren't you? You know, and these guys, they know what's up. They know uh, what their uh, winning condition is. They try to reach it. Sometimes they get outplayed. They don't, but um, it, it, it makes for an enjoyable match nonetheless. So uh, really well played by Team Atvinam and Hippomaniacs and looking forward to the second game. Yeah, should have been an interesting one. We were hoping for a fine series. We've got some skilled players on both sides, and so far it is delivering. So short break, and then we'll be back for game two, where hopefully the stream will be updated to represent Hippomaniacs and Team Advenom, and not just Lizard be included in the title. Stay tuned. Made for live betting.
Made for live betting. That silence, that silence was our thoughts on this Legion Commander come out from Adfinum so early. Welcome back guys to Adfinum vs Hippomaniacs. Best of three here. Hippomaniacs, they took game one ferociously here, Liz. But this time around, Adfinum, they ban out the tree. They don't ban out the burn aspect. It is a burn, but a different one, a different kind. Not really too surprising, I guess, because Ember right now feels pretty potent. But is it like, I, I actually, that's one, one thing I want to ask you. Do you feel like Ember is still first? Fan phase worthy after the changes to Slight Fist Root? Mm, I think yes. Yeah. I think the hero is still very strong. There are some other, there are some some heroes that come super hard now because of the root, but uh, the hero is still very very potent. Just rotates across the map, and this is what like, it just carries the game for you. I, I like the Morphling pick. It's very Madara. Uh, hero and this guy can just win the game with Morphling. Yeah, Focus can play it on mid too, but I'd rather see Madara. Just, just give him the Morphling, let him carry the game for you, and that's it. Um, uh, he doesn't care about the Doom, doesn't care about the Rubik. It's it's a good Morphling game. I like it. Legion Commander is there for a little bit of saves and Crystal Maiden, but I'll give you that mana that you need. 
But Hippomaniacs answer instantly with an ancient apparition. Also known as Hero Spirit Vessel. Uh, Hero Spirit Vessel is pretty good versus Morph. Overall, at any given point in the game, you have that AOT to work with. Um, sometimes it can... It doesn't always work. Sometimes Morphling is just way too fat. He destroys you before you destroy him. And if that Morphling gets an early E-Blade, he just jumps on top of you, destroys you, and you don't even have a chance to use that ulti. Um, also, Ancient Apparition versus Legion Commander isn't really the greatest, as Legion can just get rid of your uh, little pesky ice spells, just uh, overwhelming gods, and she's out of there. Uh, at Finum, they need something active on that mid lane, though, now that they have picked up that Morphling. I wonder what that will be. We'll see. But uh, most likely right now what they'll pick is their position 4. As they do have their last pick. So something for maybe next time. Give this man a bounty hunter. I want to see a maybe next time bounty hunter. It's Dying been way too long. Oh. Not to nor God damn it. He's okay. playing Crystal Maiden. Yeah. Never mind. He's it's going to it's going to be a most likely it's going to be a position for Crystal Maiden. And they pick that Oracle. Um why do you pick the Oracle? I guess it's a save for the Morphling. Sure. But besides besides that, I don't see it. I don't see the It feels kind of weird to have that combo of Oracle and Crystal Maiden. Like you can spam by like level three fairly well. But these two are incredibly vulnerable and very easy to pick off. Yeah. Especially for a lineup that already has an AA and a Doom on the field. Radiant Let's see what Hippomaniacs go for. They go for the Void. Oh, on the classic AA Ice Blast Chrono combos. Yeah, it's good versus Morph, even if he morphs. If you have that A follow-up, it's good. Sometimes I see Voids just fail so hard, man. Play Void and Ancient Apparition and you just never get on point. You never use your spells properly and... Uh, Void falls off if he cannot use his uh, Chrono all the time on cooldown early on. And then again, you're playing versus Legion Commander. And Legion is pretty good versus Void. If you get him in that duel, he is just done. Uh, the only good thing for Void, though, is they don't have much follow-up with that Legion Assault. Uh, maybe another Lina for, for Focus. Remaining. But maybe something... Some, I mean, you, they can wait. They have the last remaining. pick. They, they aren't uh, in any rush. Uh, and Hippomaniacs. Hippomaniacs banner is a little bit out of focus, I swear. Is it? Or is it it's just my eyes? Adfinims is very, very I don't know. I, I like Adfinims banner. Look at that. It's very uh very classy. Crisp, simple. Very crisp, very, very clean. Not like my Twitter profile, I guess. Well, you know, there's just Why the hell do you take photos of my Twitter profile and put them on Twitter? I mean, shouldn't you be flat that I'm looking at your Twitter? But why? Why you do that? Is it because of the new Twitter? Was that the point or was my profile the point? I mean, the, the new Twitter was the point, but there was a tear in my eye. And I was like, when will I get to see Liz again? Absolutely perfect. He never invites me over. I never Absolutely get to meet his dogs. Absolutely perfect. So wait, it, it, was, it, it, it was actually about Twitter. It wasn't about my profile. Yeah, yeah, it was about Twitter. You know I love you, dude. So why, and, and everyone is commenting like, leave Lizard alone. <laughs> He's doing his best. And it wasn't even about my profile. Five, then there's JJ uh, moaning about me like taking pictures of screens and not using screenshot. You know, what? shut up, JJ. It's called dramatic exaggeration. He yeah, 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 I understand that. I understand. He I just doesn't get it. You know, the Germans are very serious. He definitely doesn't get it. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Looks like no one's gonna get Ark Warden though. Thank God. I, I, oh God, I hate this hero every time I see it. Uh, it's a good Ark Warden game. He's really faceless void, and. Uh, like overall, he's all right at the moment, so we won't see. Him. Also, just delays the game so long. Oh, Speaking of delaying the game, you mentioned delay, and look what happens, Liz. Put yourself to blame. Interesting pick into the storm. I mean, it's not a terrible game, but I wouldn't say it's by any length a free storm game, right? It's a good storm game. It's a really good storm game. You have a jump on Void. You have a jump on Tinker. I love this for a storm game. Okay. Uh, if Focus plays well, I think this should be very easy for him. The only real catch for the, him that they've got Absolutely is that lives from Muff. Mm -hmm. He has to have a really good game on that Rubik to be able to do all of that's necessary for him. Uh, they also have saves versus Chrono. Save is that Oracle that can always just ulti you. And that Oracle set is spoopy, man. It's very spoopy. 
like they thought Necrophos was lonely, so they needed another kind of Egyptian theme going on or something. Mm. Actually, it's not even like Egyptian. It's more like Macedonian 300 Spartans versus kind of feeling yeah, vibes. Per Persians or whatever. Yeah, the Persians, yeah. The Persians. And he has that. I like how you said Macedonians. Your geography is really great, but it's close enough. It's close enough. So. I mean, the Macedonians were owned by them at that point. They've been invaded, it, right? So. It, it was, it was, it, it's... It, it's questionable, but I understand what you well, meant. Like, it's, yeah, you know, it's like it's both right. those phases. I, but let's not go there because That's there's too a much of, history. All there's right, a lot of political uh, unrest around here because of that. So oh, let's yeah. just leave it. That's true. Yeah, let's let's, let's get to the door. Let's do what we specialize in here, Liz. Let's talk about cosmetics. What about them? I mean, who's who's flashing out best? I, whoa! Look at this. Whoa! That's like. That's like Doom devoured a clockwork. That's like Doom devoured another Doom. That, that's what it looks like. I so, like it. so it's like Underlords themes, right? You're just meshing Dooms together. To make better Dooms. Level level 2 Doom right there. Not level 3 yet, but level 2 for sure. We'll see how much this stream is going to be able to do with his Tinker. I hate Tinker. I wish this hero didn't exist. But uh, one way to deal with him is definitely to have a good Storm. Storm can jump on him all the time. Scout him out. Kill him. But then again, if Tinker has a good game and he gets that Hex soon, suddenly the Storm is in just as much danger and so is the Morphling as you can control them completely. It doesn't feel like either team has stupidly insane early aggressive supports, right? Like, it's not like you've got an Earth Spur in this game or something. It feels like usually the thing you look at here is if Tinker doesn't get pressure before getting boost to travel and if Storm doesn't get pressure before level 2 ball lightning. I'm not yeah, feeling are. like either side does that. That's yeah, you don't strange. have you don't have these big core uh, supports that can dive someone on mid lane and change the pace of the lane for them. Well, it's going to be a completely one v one, I guess, matchup on mid. Maybe some crystal maiden rotates or some rubik here and there, but they aren't the best heroes. It's not your task or it's pretty just like you said. So we'll see how much these these boys are gonna be able to do. Uh, we see a tri lane on top lane right now, just to contest the bounties, I believe. And they'll realize this pretty quickly, or Curry should. He has got the time warp level. They're going to ruin him off for a long time. He could still get it with the time warp. It's going to be nah, close. He realizes Spartan straight across. It's and way Senny. too slow. But Senny uh, is... Like, speaking of slow. Uh, four seconds for Crystal Nova. He's Mango. In Here we go. Time yeah. to dive. We'll get time it. to dive. Bug moves in. One more click. Do it. Side step by Senny, but it's not good enough. He'll go down. First blood is drawn. Curry wishes yeah. he had a bash now. Curry was thinking about going on that Maiden, but he's like, yeah, no, no. There's Oracle here. If I go, I most certainly die. I like that they're tri -laning. This Morphling doesn't seem to be very contested at the moment. He's fine on his own. And this tri -lane should crush Void early on. And when Void has a rough laning stage, yeah, it's not so easy later on. He still can recover, has that Chrono plus A, but Oracle is going bottom instead. So... They might Small be concerned advantage. about Madara in the early levels. Yeah, Maybe. Madara first wave. First wave, if you block, it's under the tower, so you don't have to help him. So you can start uh, as a tri -lane. It's all planned. They, they start as a tri -lane in that first wave. As soon as the first wave is done, he goes back to the... Really, really well played. Yeah, you don't want to let yeah. Doom have an easy free, because once he has free, the Devar makes him more or less unkillable without free heroes. I don't know how they kill him, even like this. He has to take so many hits to his face before they're able to burst him down. It's going oh. to be very difficult. But he's screwing up. He's not getting the range creeps here. Madara now has four denies already, so XP should start to favor Morphling heavily in this lane. It's great. Here you go. All damage put to him right now while he has that level one devour, just trying to burn for his regen. Well, top. Just trading back and forth. One of the big benefits of Legion with that movement speed buff is you can just run people down and get effective trades. As Kari's learning quickly. He's going to be rude up. He already used the time warp. Well, that's a mistake. And it seems that this is a recurring team. They take down this Void early on, laning stage, they deal with him. Last game, uh, they were dealing with the Wraith King very well, and now they're de dealing with the Void very well. And then it comes down to Supreme to show off his mid lane prowess and if he can carry the game alone or not. And obviously on Saberlight's axe in that last game, but this game, Saberlight is playing a Doom. It's not re nearly as potent as, as an axe. Like, it's strong, but it's not an axe, you know, axe, if he has a good game, he can really do a lot, he can carry you. Doom, I mean, even when he's having a bad game, he's having a good game. He has that devour, right, so 
but it's the impact versus gold invested yeah. isn't as high. You know, exactly. It's, it's, it's a case of not as high. in this game, Curry. You know, you think last game Curry, he had quite a few blunders and a few mistakes. Probably more mistakes than I make when I play Monkey King support. This time around, he can't afford that sort of fuck up. He has to find kills here. And maybe Vashes would be a good start because right now he's getting none. They might kill him. Cold Feet's going to come out. Bug moving in, trying to get the kill quick enough. Stick, keep Curry alive. Can't get the kill on the Legion, but then Crystal Nova comes out and Crystal Maiden gets the kill. I mean, this Maiden dishes out so much damage. Uh, that's why she went with the five Mangoes build. As he's actually able to sustain and hit these two spells. He went for Frostbite first, like Frostbite first and then Crystal Nova. That's so much damage. But then again, it's so much mana too. And those mangoes definitely did help her out with that. Bottom lane, Rubik, Muff might be falling Get too. Fable won't save his life. Spawn will just walk away. And I was yeah, about to say they didn't really stage. need the essence yet because they weren't doing anything in the other lanes. But suddenly. This laning stage is just so good uh, for Adfinim. Oh. Denying yeah, himself. Yeah, that was nice. So Adfinim right now, they're just dominating on two lanes. And mid lane is a draw. With Storm Spirit and Tinker sharing almost the same CS. Um, Tinker is doing alright, that's true. He didn't invest as much in region, but uh, man, these side lanes, their Hippomaniacs are suffering so hard on them. It's going to be a difficult, difficult mid game for the boys. Yeah, they're basically going to have to carry this void through the 10 20 minute mark into something where he's actually relevant. There's a lot of pressure on this Tinker. But with so many denies early on, he's looking Maybe pretty good. Maybe he gets kill here. Yeah, that's fun. Gonna drag him back. Move forward. Wants to get that laser out. Throws out the heat seeking missiles. And have just about enough damage. But he's on the high ground. In the trees, suddenly they can't find him. Spartan sidesteps yeah. moves away. That's a lot of wasted time for a very, very slow Tinker. 293 movement speed. Oh, Saber light doomed. falls down. Yeah, Madara just dives him solo. That's a solo kill. And on and top of Sandy dies. You look away for a moment, and this happens. It, it feels like Kari cannot do anything in this lane. <laughs> Kari can't do anything. Ink's apparition is just feeding. Bottom I mean, lane, Doom's exactly dying to a solo morph. Either. Yeah, Morphin, Morphin kills the Doom alone. And like, this Legion was an early pick. It's not like this was surprise Hippo Maniacs. You didn't see this coming. This was second pick Legion. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of ruined their lane so far, because they have no great way of dealing with it. Bottom both. lane. Getting low, oh, they won't yeah. dive though, but they will get both runes. As Muff was hanging around, so he makes sure Doom isn't distracting them for nothing. So far, the only hero doing fairly well is this Tinker on the mid lane. That's it, but even he is 6 CS behind the storm. I, I don't know. This, this is the this power game. of Radiance. Like, you can just supplement this, your this farm. This already looks like they have to have perfect combos with the Chrono plus AOT. It already looks like that, but you know what? It's early on. They aren't feeding too much. There's just 1k behind overall, so... Like, eh, these kills can be a little bit deceiving. A couple of counterplays and Muff is dead on bottom lane. You're not wrong there. Stable will get away, but... Anything that comes here, Madara says thank you very much and just gobbles it up straight away. You know, maybe Hippomaniacs is just trying to make this interesting. Like, okay. You know, you say we need perfect chronos, we need perfect combos. That's just gonna make the game more dramatic. They delivered in the first game. Ah, uh, so you like drama, is that it? That's what you're hoping for. I mean, don't you like a bit of drama? I, I hear Reddit. Yeah, sure. We just I channel mean, on Reddit here. I don't really like it, but there's something damned inside of me that demands it, you know? Yeah, it's something like a requirement. Of me. Yeah, I, but I don't like it. I'd rather be without it, but you know, it makes... It makes life... It makes door door. <laughs> oh, we're talking about the game. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes door door. Yeah, yeah, what, what are you talking about? Whoa. I just girls and life and whatnot. Okay, but they were like he's contemplating death right now. Spartan but I guess him. we can also talk about drama like Seb and PPD or Solo and Seb, something like that. Hey. Wait, I just I just mentioned Seb twice. Is there someone else that? Yeah, I like I'm sorry. I I mean, you leave Seb alone, all right? You leave my boy alone. I swear, I wanted to mention him once, and then I just named two occurrences in which he was like involved. But what, what else was there? Oh. He Next uses... time, he's alive. I mean, yeah. Senny had a kill there. You saw that, right? Yeah, he's a coward. He's a goddamn coward. And cowards no. have to be shot. And that's what fucks no. him to do. No, dude, he wasn't a coward. He was he was blind. He right-clicked the creep instead of Crystal Maiden. And Crystal Maiden survives on, on one HP. He's a he blind right coward. He tried to take the easier goal. That's what happened. No, he just, he's, he's just blind. That's all. I don't think he was a coward. He went for the kill. I get... No, I get what it is. This is the strategy. We talked about the comeback goal. 
This is what they do in yep. the top lane. Yep. That's it. That's it. Tinker is doing well. 7 minutes 36. Uh, he has Soul Ring and 800 gold moving towards the... Moving towards his travels slowly but steadily. I mean, in fact, he's, he's doing a at the moment. pace. Yeah, this is... I wouldn't say it's necessarily slowly. No, I'm not saying... I mean, I said it's slow and steady. That's... Okay. You'll get there. Nice, That's everybody. my point. Stay Bottom line. lane. In a little bit of trouble here. And he threw it up for a moment. He fought back throwing out the Doom because Supreme was coming, but he couldn't get it out quick enough. Focus. Didn't realize how close to death he might have been there. It's good he didn't because, like, this Tinker... Yeah, uh, he can't chase. Wasn't, yeah, he wasn't there on time. I, why don't you take the Arcane rune, my friend? I, why do I, you leave it? It seemed like he was he trying to make get... a Q play there, but that was yeah. weird. I, I think he didn't check Storm's mana, that's all. Yeah. He did get rooted, but even with that root, it was very... Low amount of root, he could have he could have went back and uh, taken the the root. What an eye, at least. Yeah, we do have a smoke from the Rubik and the Doom, and they will most likely rotate not towards the Oracle but towards the Storm or the Morphin. Uh -oh. Those targets are the big ones. Uh, okay, that was close. That was dual cast in the top lane. They're getting ready to kill Kari. They might still kill Seni here. That smoke rotation. Focus is wise to it. He's backing up completely. And while it's happening in the top, they get the dual win on Sunny. Yeah, they get that duel. On the mid lane, though, they won't find the Storm as he's completely back. He was out of mana, so he runs back. Unfortunate for uh, the Doom and the Rubik. But then again, you know, you didn't show that this Doom for quite a long time on the bottom lane. And they also have a lane board. And look at this. They see they have one board here, one board here, one board there. They see this full triangle. And because of that, uh, they the Storm goes back. He knows there's no Doom, no Rubik. And it feels he knows like... he's in danger. And if you're in danger, where do you go? You go back base. Well, if you kill everyone first, there's no danger. Chrono, top lane. Jump in. Can they do enough? Drew it up. Leech is going to be fine here. Mistakes have been made. Well, Lightning is going to control him up. We're going to try and stop a duel coming out. We should fail him in two seconds, but Void doesn't survive that long. The chase is forward. Fuck, looking for a target now. He could turn around and take Senny or Muff with the duel. And uh, he will take Senny while his teammate takes the Muff. I'll get both kills for it. Uh, they just get three kills. 14 to 1, by the way, and that one kill that they've got is a deny. Legion Commander killed first. This is getting a little bit depressing for the side of Hippomaniac. Maybe next time, doesn't even die for this. Supreme has got the gold now to get his hands on his boosted travel. They, oh, they can't come any light on this because they need something on the board very soon. Hmm. Question is, how much longer does your Tinker need? Because this Legion is doing everything that it says on the tin in the first 10, 20 minutes. I don't know if this Tinker is going to be enough, honestly. We'll see. He only has his travels now, and now he can farm, but... This Legion and Morphling, they're already knocking at your door. He's porting into them, and he cancels. Well, they know about Saberlight, so he's in trouble. They're going to turn and onto him right now. They have the duel as well. That's just going to be more damage for Fog. They're probably being ready to Morphling, but he was morphing up in his strength. Tinker's going to arrive. Duel's going to go out. He needs to be careful. They don't have the damage. Supreme's not moving anywhere near fast enough to bring down that Legion. They'll just defend Morphling in the corner. They don't even know us, and they walk past him. Saberlight, he's just trying to keep vision on a fog, and as a result, they might turn around, because now the Morph can do whatever he wants. They use the ultimate, or maybe next time they'll find a kill on the Doom. Supreme needs to get the hell out of Dodge. They're going to chase in. They're going to root him up. No kill on the fog. He'll look to turn around. They're going to laser on Oracle to keep him low. He needs to lift him back. He used the false promise on himself. Muff steals it. He uses it on himself as well, because they've already lost Senny as well. I'll cover Supreme's escape, but Muff will not be so lucky as Madara. He does have the waveform to move forward, but the adaptive strike should be enough to bring down the Rubik, and I don't think he's going to get that deny. Uh, 17 to 1. Yeah, this is this is a little bit grim. Uh, yeah, a little <laughs> bit grim. Like, let's look at the positives. Is... Do, okay, so Legion only has two dual wins so far. Uh huh. Uh, have you got anything else? That's all I've got right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a great positive. She has two dual victories, minute 11. She's not snowballing Something. that much. <laughs> nah, oh, they've, got, they've got Ice Blast now. There you go. There's a full dagger completed on Legion. And yeah, they fought, fought that top lane fight without having Ice Blast. That was also bad. I said that Woods should use his Chrono off cooldown all the time, but not like this, man. Like, they, they have no follow-up damage. They try to go for him on that top lane. On, for, on the Legion on that top lane instantly, they uh, counter it. Oh. Maybe Curry just needs to change his build. He needs to buy salves and we need to go for the Medic Void because if this doesn't work, you're done. 
Get focus, get someone, somewhere, get a kill, please. Actually, don't get a kill. Get only one kill, and then get five kills on Adfinum. And then combat gold. And then another, and then another kill for hippos, and that leaves us at 22-3. Which if uh -huh. you read from uh, right to left, Chrono. Oh! They find the Morphling, beautifully done, the Ice Blast through. They're gonna be able to find folks as well, try and pull lightning away, it's gonna be a close one, but he just about gets out, and now oh falling down his gun. Holy crap, Legion oh. gets them off, and they'll find the corner Supreme. Vaughn says, I'll give my life for this, like a true warrior. Maybe next time there's this. And now he's going to build a snowman. Curry's going to go down in the duel. It's another win. The duel thrown out a little bit too late to make a difference. Legion will just walk this off. Supreme did fly back for this. He needs to find some when the ball lightning across. Focus will be able to move away. Still's going to come out in the meantime. Looks like they got hands up. Nervous slowing down a little bit. But Spartan's going to pull. Spartan is wicked. Goes down and, sick, man. Oh, Bug's alive. Bug's fine. Supreme needs to be careful here. Ah, Supreme is fine too. He's running. He should be fine. Oh, oh tuck, mark, tuck, mark, tuck, mark, tuck, mark. tuck, <gasps> Very, very close. Closer very than close. he may be real. Well, he knew. He had the wards. He knew. But... He knew because of the ward. That's why he... Uh, that, that buyback was actually good for Tinker because he killed an oracle. <laughs> and that's why it was good. How many times do you say, all right, Tinker, he bought back and he killed an oracle? That's good. But that oracle, Spartan, man. <laughs> Wicked. Six, seven kills. Okay, only one kill for Adfinum and the dream is real. They need to get one kill and it's 2-2-3. Two, two, Almost there. It's very close. We just need Adfim to get that one kill and then Hippo say, the game is done actually. I'm just going to GG and go third. And it got one yeah, game yeah. win already, you know? Even up no, it, the third it's game. it's not how it works. If it's 3-2-2, if it's two, two, actually, actually you're right. If it's 3-2-2, two, two, the team just abandons. If it's 2-2-3, two, two, then the other team abandons. Yeah. It's the cursed number. It's the way they win. Well... Uh, then he's got yeah. in the mid lane. Both uh, finishing his Lincolns as well. Focus. This is going to be pretty obvious. Fucking jump in. The duel's going to be there. Good luck saving the day, Senny. Two, the two, three. Too late. They've done it. Don't kill him. Let him live. It's, it's fine. Done they it. can make kills. They've it's done secure. it. They've done it. I, I love how Saberlight just ports into them. That was very manly, very bold. Didn't work. I don't think he expected that to work. I think he did it for the boys. I mean, he yeah. did it for the boys. He did it for the score. He's very ballsy, but they just kicked him in the nuts and moved on. Curry, he's got Chrono coming off cooldown. No, no, dude, run. You bash. You fool. They get the steal. It's time for Muff to dance. If he actually gets the perfect position. Uh, no, oh, Chrono. no. Curry. Press the attack. is going to keep Baby next time alive. The time warp for Supreme's there to make sure the CM dies. But it's going to be a close call. The Ice Blast is needed. They'll save the day with a false promise for the time being. Now, Control and the Vortex gets the kill in the Senny. Best case scenario, it's a one for one trade. You might not even get that, but Ara doesn't get the adaptive strike in time. Looking at the muff instead, though. As focus moves forward, they'll be able to find the kill on the Rubik. He can't run fast enough. Stealing everything he can, but there's another duel. Fuck. Now up to 50 damage. The lift is there. Oh, nice root. They get rid of the void. He's gone. The buyback comes out from Sandy, but it's a little bit too late. They throw out the Doom and the Morphling, but he's morphed up to strength and feeling fine. Bug, even on Supreme, stopping him from moving around, but he gets to blink away after the rearm in time. But they can't kill anyone here. Everyone is so low. Finally, they'll find the kill on the Crystal Main, but Fuck's gonna live. And this Doom, in the end, is not doing much as Madara just walks away. Yeah, and Tuck gets quite a lot there. Another dual victory. But wait, Senny Supreme, buybacks. he got 433 gold for that CM kill. Yeah, I mean, Supreme is on top of the network just from you killing supports. You don't say like that. He, yeah, and he bought back as well. He's still on top of the network, but sadly for him, he's followed by Morphling, Storm, Legion, and then Crystal Maiden. <laughs> Who is going for a Midas? Crystal Maiden is fifth on the network charts in front of Void and Doom. Like, how many times do you see Doom behind the Crystal Maiden? That's... Oh, oh my god. There's a duel. They go in the bot lane. Speaking of the Maiden, she wants to party right here. Gonna just screw him up. Hurry. Yeah, they it's don't get time it. They, the laser made it work. Like, they don't get that kill because of the laser. They, it, Legion starts missing. I don't know if they had enough damage even with the, without the laser. Yeah, they, they would have been at the much. mercy of Moment of Courage. However, top lane, Saberlight, if they scout him, which they will do very soon with that ward, he, he doesn't even understand that they have that ward. He's just waiting for the creep to spawn. He's, he's, Morphling just needs to connect. Yeah, they could easily be able to find the kill, but they're reluctant. It's near the shrine. It is a risky move. Uh, he's very tanky. He uses Scorch Surge and he's out. So. They might make a move bot, though. CM is here again. More Legion shenanigans income, but they can't get on Supreme due to the March of the Machines. Mischievous hero, always pain in the ass. Although he did just leave Muff alone. 
And they do have vision here. They see him. But they know where the ward is. There it is. They get it. You can see how badly they want to get some more dual victories here. Now they have the level 2. This is where you can really start to stack up that damage. Blade Mail is not too far off of Fug either. He is the key for Adfinim right now. Everyone key, is I mean, the key. He's a battering ram. Everyone is a key. And <laughs> these Hippomaniacs, they're very, very poor locks. They're just kind of like a board on the door, right? A loosely kind of nailed in board. Yeah, I don't know. They they took that board and they backed it on their heads it's a twig. Right, for the first day, for the first 18 minutes because Hippomaniacs, they looked good in that first game they won it but they were fully playing in their comfort zone this lineup this draft of theirs does not look nearly as effective not right now at least like the confidence here he just doesn't even care he knows it's a nice blast but it doesn't matter they move in they spot out one Muff needs to move away OP on him. Nice move away by Focus. They have the high ground with Supreme, but there it is. They jump in the duel straight away. They haven't got the damage to kill him outright. The Ice Blast through. They're going to try and turn around this. Tinker should go down, but Fog needs to be careful. They're moving him right now. Curry with the Chrono. Case on the free, and the Doom is there. They're all stuck on the same spot. Storm's going to go down. Fog, they're trying to keep him alive with a false promise. It's going to be a close call. The buyback comes out from the Storm trying to move in. The stolen duel being used on the maybe next time, but they can't even kill a damn maiden. You might as well give up now because she's out of control. She'll dance her half once more. Curry doesn't make it to the low ground with a time walk, and they ping him out. Moving in right now. Trying to burst him down. Time walk coming up. Cool down. They're going to room up though and he's dead. That's four dead on the side of Hippomaniacs. You force a buyback out of Storm, but he's happy to commit it for that. They're chasing. They're, They're chasing for five. Saber light. Yep. Just bang those drums and run away. Mum's the word. They're coming in. The Vortex controls him up. Slows him down. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Duel is Wait, up in three through. seconds. Wait for it. Bug. Wait here he it. comes. Thanks for the now damage, Doom. Come back again anytime. 68 damage, 19 minutes in. Not too shabby, not too bad. Tuck doing all right. So far, Tuck has been the MVP of Adfinim in both of these games. That first game with Puck was really uh, good. And this second game with the Legion Commander, he's just crushing them. Uh, but that little Crystal Maiden definitely did do a lot on that offlane as well. Helped, helped him out quite a lot. That same Crystal Maiden has a Midas drums. Uh, she's just below... She's just below the void, by the way, 400. She's going to pass the less. void probably the next 10 minutes because that level 15 talent. She'll pass her now if they take all the bounties. They're taking four bounties. She'll pass oh, boy. Yeah. Ace and spawn. Moving forward. Buff's been seen. Things come out. We'll go for the lift, but it's too late. They can slow him down with Crystal Nova. They can go for the duel. They decide against it, though, because the Ice Blast is flying through. Maybe it takes time. We'll just go to retreat. Supreme, just harass him a little bit. Match damage dodged out by Oracle. Careful, Supreme. You're confident. You shouldn't be that confident. He's very confident because he saw the Legion. They had that one dire woods. It scouted her out a little bit, I guess, and uh, because of that. Actually, that word is horrible. Like, it only shows the river. Everything else is covered by trees. Can you... Like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, really I great. Maybe, maybe you ask your carry to come use Calling Blades, so then you're like, you know, 1,000 IQ I, player. Yeah. I mean, you, you sometimes definitely do that when your Void is in a bad spot. But when Tug is in a good spot, you go and you kill a Doom. For a Blade Mail as well. There we go. They yeah. jump around to save a light. They'll root him up, but the lift is there to save the day. Doom will not give over the damage. He might still go over his life. There's the use of the Chrono, though. On the back line, look for the Oracle. Dice Blast to follow through. Beautifully done. Legion will fall as well. Maybe next time on the low ground, did get clipped. They'll move in now. The Kofi is there. The laser Very have to bring good. him down. Waveform away. Morphin says, screw this. This is not a fight anymore. Hippo Maniac, they finally had enough. They finally started to bite back. I love that. I love that they go for supports first instead of and the Legion, obviously. I mean, they went for who they caught in the Chrono. It's, but uh, I, I'd like to see more Chronos like that one. Catch these squishy Maidens, Oracles. Don't catch the cores. There's Oracle behind. If you catch a core Oracle, it's going to save them with the ulti, right? So uh, this was much better. Also, Doom. Yeah, he has a uh, low network. But then again, he's a Doom. You can't just jump him and duel him that way. Uh, Especially with this build. Yeah, hood, drums, face boots give you some armor as well. He's pretty tanky. Radiance and that was the blade mail reveal. That was your best opportunity to easily find a kill. You know, you, you can't look for Muff because, well, he done morphling shenanigans and has braces. So you're probably looking at the AA as the prime kill if you're a Legion commander here, or the Tinker. All of this will change a little bit once uh, Morphling finds E-Blade. I think uh, Madara, so far, he hasn't been involved. But once he finds that E-Blade, dude, like, he's just gonna go on these supports and try to chop them up one by one on his own we'll see and it should line up perfectly because focus is getting close to that bloodstone now so 
so the timing should add up close to. That's when Zenny. the Storm can join you on that back line, easily find those pickoffs. He, he planted a good ward on the stop lane, so should scout out the... Should have scouted out Focus up there. But this other ward that uh, was planted by Spartan should scout out Sani. Sadly for him, he was under the vision, so they divorced his uh, ward instantly. Just dangling Sableye as they realize after the last engagement from Adfim, they kind of, uh, they've got this little haste in the mouth, a little bit of blood from Sableye, and they want to try and find it every time. Well, the last time they did that, they got burned quite hard. It was a little bit too hot of a meal. Doom survived and then they turned and just uh, killed the tree. I wonder if uh, that might be the case again for them. If they're going to smoke, they will smoke. And I would love to see something similar. Play behind the Doom. Let Doom go in like he's crazy, like he's a maniac, which Saberlight is very often. But this time you have a little trap. This time you have something behind. truly hot. Sorry. Ready to move. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. Anyways, yeah. Curry. No, so bad's not in this game. <laughs> yeah, well, I miss so bad. I miss watching Vega. That's a good name. Yeah, <laughs> Your so previous bad. Vega player in here. Curry moving in. Has the Shadow Blade. It's surprise time. But mm. Supreme kind of ruined it. Yeah. It's not, uh, yeah. Is he thinking? Okay, no, he's not. It looked like he was getting ready to wrap around Supreme there, but Supreme didn't hang around. So, Wasted Smoke. I say wasted. They've secured the Radiant Jungle. The easiest area yeah. for die to take in these days and ages. It's not really the the best area to take, considering Rush is alive uh, and they have a storm. But then again, at Finham, they don't really have the best heroes to take Rush. If I manage to themselves there, that scan. Yeah, that scan, that scan messed with them. Curry might catch them here in the Chrono, but they don't have a ult. This is bad. I wouldn't go for this. Yeah, no, it's good. Go that back he's away. Not good. It's very good that he shows discipline there and he goes back because they just wasted that A ulti. They wouldn't have the damage. Important thing is he still hasn't actually shown himself the Shadow Blade yet. At least it doesn't look like it. Oh, long range ball landing. Calm down, Focus. He's getting in position. Yeah, he smoked up. He has haste. They he realize they're done Sableye. actually dangling Sableye and this may just be him hanging around a little bit too long. But the problem is they're close by. They are close. Chrono available. They're going to jump him right now. Curry going in. He wants the Chrono opportunity on the high ground, but he can't do a blind. Is the problem. Jules going to be there. Curry needs to actually move soon. Lays to blind them up for the time being. Doombringer just going to actually eat all of this halt and be fine. Not back Man, away. Curry, just pop it. He's got to be careful. Chrono. He's reluctant right now because Focus has that haste. You know, in the animation, you could do all kinds of things to mess up. Spartan. Shadow Armor. Oh, that is not the Chrono you were looking for. I mean, it's good to kill Oracle, definitely. Sure. But it's good because if you don't, he's gonna save someone. But he had multiple uh, opportunities to catch the storm there, but he was way too reluctant. He was afraid that storm is going to zip out and the chrono will be whiffed. Because of that, he doesn't use it, and in the end, he uses it on an oracle. That's I mean, it's it's a kill, but it's he doesn't want to upset Master Liz. That's what it is. He knows you're watching. Or oracle responds in 50 seconds, but uh, your cooldown is 130. So. It's not, definitely not super worth. You'll have a lot of downtime now on that Chrono once Oracle respawn. And that's the time for them to strike because Madara, of course, he does have that E Blade now. Link as well, Bug going towards the BKB next. He's pretty close now. And all the while, Focus has had that Bloodstone. So if you picked him off in that fight, it's perfect. But now, as you said, without the Chrono, do you really have the aggression? Supreme can defend you, but can he actually get aggressive in their face with this Dagon build? Hmm, let's see, let's see. I t you were on point when you said that it's the time to strike for Adfinim. They jumped the Yep, there it is, duel. Muff's gone. Uh, almost didn't get the duel win, just in time though. Madara's like, just screw with you, buddy, don't worry. Yeah, that's it. When you jump someone else that's not a Doom, you definitely do kill them in the duel. And uh, this is Roshan. Yeah, but there nice is the... Oh, they need to be careful. Focus is low. Realize yeah, this should actually... slow them down a bit. Midara realizes that if he just turns himself into Rubik, he's amazingly tanky right now. It's like they just need to delay. They just need to delay around 30 seconds so that they have Chrono again. And once they have Chrono, they can go into the pit and defend it. So but that, you need to delay it. Yeah. It's that moment of realization, by the way, that actually if you just turn into Rubik, you have maximum agi and maximum strength on your ultimate. Focus needs to be careful. He's just teasing Sableye right now. As you said, Chrono's coming up. So Athenum, 
They're just playing into Hippomaniac's hand right now. This time, he might just throw out the crow. No! Crow, no! Oh, well. Oh, well. That wasn't awesome. And you can see Morphling just... Uh, drawing his intentions on the minimap. And, and there's the oh. Tinker straight away. They're like, it's just crow not up there. They must have more people around. Oh, no. Supreme. Come on, bruh. That's not how you should be caught. You shouldn't be caught by a Legion commander. Supreme probably right now in the VoIP screaming at Curry saying he's something that happens at the end of eating a curry. Oh, god damn it! He definitely is screaming that. There's another AA ulti in the pit, which is yeah, not dodged once again. It's really good the uh, buff that happened to AA. The, the fact that you can't see the, the AA ulti anymore no matter what. Yeah. The, the only time you can see it is when he's casting it actually. Or when it hits you in the so, face. You get to see it or when you, Or when it connects on you, yeah. Focus, just scouting out everywhere. They see Saber Light. They try and turn around. Cold Feet's there. Press the attack to protect him though. And Saber Light, he needs to get the hell out of dodge. Because this Legion hits pretty hard. With an extra 120 damage to work with. Has to blink in three seconds. Saber Light mm, is in he's... for a mean surprise. He bought in, a lot of time him. though. It's true, but he might give over a little bit of damage. By a little bit, yeah. I mean a lot. That's a level 3 duel now. Yeah, plus 146 for Legion. Oh, oh a ulti. Oh, ice blast. Oh. But oh. oh, no, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. He needs, he needs his Oracle. If he gets he needs hit once, Oracle. yeah, Oracle's Oracle. not helping him right now. Help they just take the fall for a kill on the Supreme instead. They used the false promise just to make sure. They do get the kill on the Tinker, though, so worthwhile. That was so close, man. He he even waveforms towards Oracle. He's like, save me, bro. What the hell are you doing? And it took Spartan a little bit of time. Spartan is just... Like, he's bloodthirsty. He, he wants the kills. So he doesn't want to save his little water, bro. He's just screaming and crying. He's like, please? He just can't heal Madara. All he can hear is the screams of his enemies. Like a true spawn. Maybe next time. Going towards that BKB next. Well, hey, he's behind Doom right now, but maybe not for hey, long. Oh, snatches it. Nah, almost. Close, but no cigar. Yeah. That was actually very, very close. But, you know, uh, Hippomaniacs, they messed up a little bit. Tinker dies twice in a row. That Chrono, one, it connects an Oracle, then it connects nothing. It wasn't really the, the best performance by Hippos in the last couple of minutes. And that's why they're behind, that's why they're 10k behind, and also they lost ages. Bug. Oh, time. time. Oh, steady. Try to stay alive here. It's going to be a close call, and just about, he doesn't give the duel over. No, the Ice Blast out with the Chrono. Beautifully done, he gets the best out of the situation. Oracle go down and so will the Legion Commando. The Doom out the onto the Storm Spirit is gone. The buyback comes out on Oracle, but can they save Madara in time? He's gonna try and move away with the Time Warp, but he's moving further away from assistance here. He's got the Aegis to work with, but they're gonna force it out of him. Hit him up with the Bash, he turn him to himself. He's fully strengthed up. He later to try and buy a little bit more time, but can the supports really save your life? One life down. They have Oracle got the false promise to work with. Maybe doing. next time, he needs to dance his half right now. But the Bash has come out, they see everything. He's gonna try and hide in the tree line. The McCabe, nice adapt strike, pushed away. Maybe next time he saved the day. Yeah, Curry needs to be careful. All time walk away. He's hiding in the trees right now. Maybe next time. Skirts the other way. Allows Madara to move away. But Supreme is still chasing. Looking for anything out of this. Going to be pushed off across to the side. They'll find the kill under the Crystal Main. But Supreme, can he even get a kill into an Oracle here? He's running out of mana pretty quick. The E Blade turned around, getting pretty low. Rude up. Madara's thinking about it. Adapt strike through. Pushes him away. Spartan's still chasing, but the clock. Make sure that Supreme stays alive. Yeah, the good old there by Moff killing off the killing off the Oracle before he got to to Tinker, as he was planning on finishing him off. I believe he had the urn on him and one purifying claims plus purge. That Tinker would have died for sure. And Hippomaniacs, man, that team fight was amazing. It's like they heard me flaming them, and they're like, "All right, you think we're bad? We'll show you." And that fight was really good, really like that. Uh, the fact that they didn't use the Chrono until the edge of the duel and then they catch both the Crystal Maiden, actually the Oracle I believe, and the Legion Commander, and then the Ice Blast is there with like no HP. Ice Blast uh -oh. coming in again right now and the Hex is out, they'll be able to find the Kill Morphing Legion. Just in time for Storm to be back up, but he hasn't got a team anymore because maybe next time is going down as well. They're going to try and move in. The Vortex to protect him. The buyback comes out. The duel's going to be there, though. Stolen and used against him. Focus. Held in place. Bashed up, but no, the waveform through. The adaptive strike gets the kill on the void, but the Storm is there. The Storm is dead. Now it's Morphling against the world. Madara holding his ground. Wolf will save a light away, but look, Supreme's coming back in. He needs to back off. The Hex fell, we can't fight. Three. At least. At least they will take the tier 3. I, I, I guess they could be disciplined and go back, but they could also not be disciplined. No, they just want the Arcane Rune. 
They're coming back right now. They're definitely going to get the racks out of this. Oracle up in 10 seconds. But now Supreme yeah, is spam. Morphling needs the BKB before he fights next. He doesn't have it. He's it's a, a slow push. There, there's Oracle. There's Oracle, though. Oracle is respawning, so he might help them. And as you said, it's a very slow push. But they're not giving up. A... Uh, might die, if anyone wish oh. they gave up, but Supreme is the oh, bait! Oh, he must turn around Madara! Those team alone with the false promise, but for how long can you keep him up? They'll just chase down and kill off the Oracle, and Morphling is looking all but done here. As they'll just keep spamming into him. This should be enough to bring him down, but no, he just He's about lost. stays alive. The Glimmer Cape assisting. Very really close survived. for comfort. And let's keep, continue the slow push again. Yeah, they continue, but Storm is up. Legion is up. They might not even get these racks. Oh, they probably do. Oh, no. They won't even get the Rexes. That's a they screw it if I've ever seen one. And now they'll just throw out the duel and save a light, give him more damage. The Hex is there, though, Supreme on the side. He needs to get out to the bull line in. They're looking for the target, but they miss it. They fluff off the mark, get and it. now they go back in, but there's the control of the Vortex. They'll be able to kill Tinker. Get the Rexes! Back in the base. He's trying, but save a light as much as he tries. You can never touch. This was the slowest <laughs> push that I've seen in my life. Ancient Apparition, Doom, and Tinker taking down Raxes. If Tinker actually helped them and hit those Raxes, they could have taken them, but he was just too busy doing Tinker stuff. If so I they was... never took him. And uh, 800 gold going the way of uh, that Legion Commander that killed Supreme's four times killing spree, dominating streak. That was, that was pretty good, pretty good. Morphling is followed by Kari, and he doesn't even know it, but... Curry doesn't really have the damage. Oh, he thinks he, he does. Have the damage. The ice hey, is coming. Ulti. If he can bash, he's gonna be close. Madara gets the BKB out though. Ice Blast is gonna connect. They're turning around onto him. They need to move away now. Face this boy will scare them off. Now they can move in. He Blake gets some low time. Walk away to the high ground. In the meantime, Muff is gonna go down to focus. He's the false promise on the Madara. Him. They see everything. They'll take everything as Curry can't move away. That one, that was more, uh, that was more of like a quick cesarean. Whereas the last one was like, if I was a midwife, I'd probably, I'd probably. They're just being a little bit. They're just being a little bit too hasty with what they're doing. Instead of waiting for the perfect moment, they're taking any moment to go in. You mean like when you have heroes? I hear that's a good way to fight. Oh, yep. I think it's up. They should be able to get them off the high ground eventually. Yeah, Tinker is definitely very good oh. when it comes to this. Still needs to be careful. Trying to move him right now. Ice Blast out. And the has him. He's gone. Beautiful lift back into the stomp. And they're not done just yet. Saberlight's still chasing through. The Hex is out. Only the Oracle Spartan won't get out of this alive. Stand your ground on the canyon, my friend. False Promise buys a little bit of time, ensuring that his Morphling can get away safely. Because it's too late for him. Yeah, he's just gone. He will die after this. But he secures the bounties as well for the little Crystal Maiden, who's going to pick them up. And this game just became this such a cluster, uh, interesting match. Cluster uh, of very a interesting. Cluster hump. It was a cluster hump. Cluster, cluster of very interesting decisions by both sides. Uh, Hippomaniacs just looking to be completely out, and they, then they're like Rocky. You know, you you knock them out, and he gets up, and suddenly he has the same amount of energy that he had in round one. Like, come on, that's unbelievable. Sylvester Stallone, you need to work on your. On, on your script writing. Come on, bro. I mean, uh, I can't believe it, but I love it. Maybe. For some reason, I love it. And I watch it. I'd watch it 10 times. I don't care. All right, muscle boy. Uh, maybe. It's not about the, who cares about the muscles? It's the power of mind. The fact that no matter how many times you get knocked down, you just keep getting up again. Exactly, you fool. Exactly. I see. I see you're a connoisseur of fine art. <laughs> 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 the cool. man can't do voice acting to save his life, but boy oh boy does he get you up out of your seat. And Morphling needs to get the hell out of his seat and actually start defending this right now. Because this time, Kari is here to hit the rack. They want to duel him, but time walk away. And that's an illusion, bug. That is not the target, buddy. You don't get damaged for that. The Kartis he are doing the power it. The the Raxes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He denies the Raxes. But the Kartis, the Kartis are the MVP. <laughs> They're the ones that enable Hippo's push, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Curry is thinking about the Chrono, though. It's tempting. Mighty tempting. But that's just not the right target. And that is too far in the base to attempt. Roche might be up in 30 seconds. You don't make too risky of a play. Just take the Shrine and take the Roche. Curry just screaming right now. Hello. Anyone here? Anyone want to defend this? And No, they don't. They want to set up around the pit. 
can get some wards down here. They will be perfectly positioned to deal with Hippomaniac when they fall back. You can already see the scan coming out. Not wise to it. Folks need to be careful. He gets caught by the Hex. He might get caught by the Doom. He realizes at the last moment and moves away. Yeah, he gets out. He has that region rune to work with, so... so Jump in. Looking on AA. Standing in trouble. Starting stuff as well. Save light. Trying to move for the Doom. He's going to scan them away. False promise to save the day. Now they're looking to turn around. Ice Blast is out. More for the Zara. He might go down to this. Laser through. Going to get him low. Maybe next time does. This half of the Doom just being thrown out after being used against them. He can't get away from this. He needs to run. Chrono on the side. Finds Madara. The big target has been achieved. And Oracle is just a bonus. They'll find him as well. And that is perfectly lined up for Rose. The problem is, can I, can... Rose isn't up for two minutes. But you know what, uh, Killer Pigeon? Can I, can I whisper something in your ear? Whisper Morgan it in my ear, baby. No buyback. Has Oof. no buyback. Oof. You're, no, you're right. One minute has 40. No and they know this. Unless they don't have a calculator or are not very good at counting, they should realize they could end the game right so now. They know it unless they don't know it. Is that what you're saying? That it, in a nutshell, yes. All right. That's that's a very good point. Very good point. And they can definitely... Don't ever accuse uh, me of generally feel, uh, filling the mic with generics, okay? They, they should they should pressure they should pressure they should go mid and pressure this uh, uh, tier three and force a buyback and it seems like that's the plan they are moving towards mid they're pushing it in now they have one single problem and that problem is they need to use the pipe on saberlight let's see if he'll realize that or not because there's if he doesn't something the storm, else though Liz the storm will kill it yes. remember that they don't push very fast because they don't have any catapults so this is maybe a set of they have void the though. they, they have do have void. void this is true. They might not be long, they're jumping in though. The duel's gonna come out right away. They need to save his life, but they can't. He's locked on the spot. He's gonna go down. 85 seconds. They heard you, Liz, and they found the target. Ice blast through. Doom just trying to retreat. Realize they can't pursue him any further, but the damage is done. Hippo Maniacs can no longer push. I mean, they can push, they just can't hit buildings. They could hit buildings, but Saber Light will be there for a century and a half. Some mistakes have been made. That's, that's what it is. Some mistakes have been made, and Storm has the, that little cute level 25 talent. Outer Remnants, that's... Uh, like, it's awesome, I love it. I love not being able to push because there's some random Remnants around. Just be grateful there's not a Chen in the game. Yeah. Some recall Remnant st strategies are always, always very annoying. But Void is up in 40 seconds, Roche is up in 20 seconds, so that will give... That will give Advium like 20 count, seconds eh? time. Yeah, Why? That will give... Yeah, With a DD that's... as well. I think this is going to be a quick roast, Liz. Ice not lost. up yet. Try to scout it out. Four seconds too early, though. It might be more than just rush. There's double damage, like you just said, on Morphling. They might be looking at uh, catching someone else instead. Oh. They like there them. is Johnny an invis Yeah, that's a really good thing for Doom. And they'll just go back to the pit. Madara's got a decent amount of time left on this DD. Now, the Void will be up. They do have the Shrine, but Hippomaniacs, they're moving pretty damn slow. They're like an old man with a Zimmer frame right now. They need to be more like a Ferrari. There's the smoke. There's now, the now. Smoke. This is way too fast, though. They're going to be late. going to be yeah, late. The Germans World War II. It's done. Oh, jump in. Looking on the Storm, though. Perfect target. They throw out the Doom, and he's dead. No way to survive the damage that is incoming. He will fall. 100 seconds yeah, on the sideline. They're side chasing line. for more. They're chasing for more, they... Oh, maybe next time? Club him? They get him. The Hex is out, and see you later. Kari! Oh, is there. Chrono. They move in, he's gonna find it on the fuck here. He late to try and save his life. They're gonna chase through, BKB's there. He's looking for the right target. You'll find Kari now, but he's getting bashed up. Is the damage enough? It should be. The stolen freezing field is not doing the work, and the adaptive strike gets rid of Mark. The buyback from Focus, well used. The buyback from the CM will assist, but Saberlight. No bashes coming out from Madara. On the side, however, they will find a kill in the Seni. I mean, it, it's not it's not great for them uh, as they don't have a buyback on Rubik and A. That's really problematic. But Void does have a buyback, and they did force a buyback from Crystal Maiden and Storm. So uh, in this fight, if you manage to buy back and kill off Storm, I think you should be fine. But uh, that that Chrono was very greedy, knowing that Morphling is so close, going for that kill on Legion Commander most likely doesn't work. He tries for it anyway. I I applaud the. The courage of Void. But uh, really... uh oh, mistakes made. Bug just got caught solo. Supreme picks him off. That's good. That definitely helps in this defense. They can just they shove them off the, the high ground now. Mother is afraid. Jump in. Dom, connecting onto him. They can hex him up though. Madara needs to be careful. He might give over the first life. But now he'll be next time. Moving in right now. Flyback comes out. Nice look away in time by Supreme. 
They block or retreat as well. Maybe next time BKB's running out soon. He knows what happens next. He won't like it. Madara barely staying alive with the false promise just in time. Maybe next time we'll forge with the void in the meantime. And now they're going to chase him through. They want this kill. They might be able to find it. Madara, first life is down. They have got the War Stomp as well. Full lightning in, but the Hex is out. Focus. You said if he goes down, this is trouble. It looks like that's the way it's going to go. The Stomp connects. Ice Blast not even needed, but now Madara waiting for forward. He's in trouble with the back. Bash. He's going to be there. Can they connect with more? E Blade out. Adaptive Strike push one away. Madara. He's by 10 seconds. Time dilation made this last even longer, and the bashes might be enough to bring Madara down. Mistakes have been made. He does have Mistakes. buyback, but your Storm does not. Very good plays by both teams as well. Like, we can say that it's mistakes after mistakes after mistakes. But both teams are playing out of their mind. Tinker picking off one target after another. Supreme and... needs to run. Yeah. Speaking of Tinker, he forced the buyback on Madara and it worked. He's fine. Now, that was awesome. Very well played by him. He forces the, him to buyback and now he is fine. And Morphling, if he dies here, this could be just game. Hippo Maniacs, man. They're refusing to give up in this match just refusing every time it looks very bad for and them they're going again Morphling, he jumps in with a stop at the doom follow up the chrono curry it's level 25 baby and it's time to die the ice blast through the doom is on him Morphling is the hope in hell if you survive this the infernal blade going out chasing and they'll find both the kills and they should find the game there's no way to defend against this buck's gonna try the best he can but the false promise you save a light protector they go for the throne then he says stay Bad doggy, Bug can't come out and play. The BKB, he'll force the duel on the Senny, but now he has nothing to use against Doom or against Kari. They'll go straight for the throw in 15 seconds till CM is up. That's your last hope in hell of Holden. Jump in, stolen duel being used to Bug. See you later, buddy. No escape from this damage. That's buyback comes back. out. It's all, or maybe next time. He's the solution. He's the key right now. Your throne is exposed. Hippomaniac's not the fastest pushes in the world. They might be fast enough. Maybe next time moving in. Freezing field comes out. Save a light. Sidestep him. He's already too low. He will fall. They kill one. Ice Blast is following through. Laser in. Hex. On the fuck. He's gone. Dagon gets him down. They'll find the other one as the game looks all but done. GG comes out. Hippomaniac's taking the series 2-0 against disgustingly ridiculous numbers in that early game. Getting just one kill to about 20 to add for them came back from this hippo maniacs take the game in style i think there were some mistakes done by adfinem uh, most likely i think storm with with a couple but it didn't really matter because hippo maniacs they just executed this drive that they've had after the laning stage they executed it in, in a couple of team fights really well and at Finem, they were they would never learn. They would go for these high ground pushes. They would go, they would go, they would go, and every single time they would die to the A plus one, whoever it is. Is it the Doom jumping in and st stomping them with a centaur stomp, or is it Void with a Chrono, or is it a lift from Rubik? It didn't matter because this A was always there on point to follow it up, and a Morphling dies easily. So the Storm focus, uh, like he he died only six times. It's not too much but it, I, I felt like he could have perhaps done a bit better in this match and uh, yeah I don't know this was a crazy game it was back and forth all the time one team is on one high ground then the other team their high ground uh, like I, I, I really couldn't say which way this was going to end so because oh, of true. that it was very enjoyable yeah i mean it was your your classic anime arc right supreme is the sensei master i don't watch Can anime get, so uh, i'm not, i couldn't really say for well sure you can appreciate that. what i'm gonna say here because curry was like that kid that gets the crap kicked out of him you know in that story arc like like karate kid just becoming the best right you suddenly beat the crap out of everyone else like rocky as well right he just bounced back because he had a wise master and supreme to protect him to shelter him from the cruel world until he was ready to get the chronos that made him a big boy because I mean, let's let's not let's not beat around the bush here. There were some very questionable moments from from Curry in the first twenty minutes, but when it mattered, after Tinker had secured that mid game, he delivered. Yep, definitely. This Tinker was crazy. He died a couple of times here and there, got caught when it was all looking grim, but when it mattered, he definitely delivered. Got a couple of crucial pickoffs and delayed the game long enough for his whole team to make uh, a real impact. So. Good job to all hippo, to all of Hippomaniacs. They never gave up. They like, yeah, they got knocked out a couple of times, Pigeon, but they got up every time and they finished this game in style. They were like a hippo, you know. They were durable but vicious when it mattered. Yeah. As a result, that brings us to a close for today. Only one series today. We'll be back tomorrow for another best of three. Just the one for the next few days. I believe the next one tomorrow will be. Unique versus Hippo Mania. More Hippo Boys. So that should be fun to look forward to. But we're going to go chill. It's a hot day, so it's hard to find that chill. I'm going to go rest for a bit. I think Liz is going to go look up what a sensei is. 
And then we'll be back tomorrow at the same time as today for another best of three on this channel. See you then. Bye bye. Made for live betting.